How's it going, my friends? Welcome to the stream. Today we have Dune Spice Wars, and it is going to be some multiplayer as is. Well, the game really is just multiplayer. And we're going to be doing a 2v2. So we shall be joined by Italian Spartacus, and we're going to be on a team. So he is just learning the game. I think this is his like second game he's ever played. So we're going to be doing a match where we play a 2v2 versus uh, anyone in chat who's interested in joining. So it should be quite a bit of fun. And also, um, after that, I'm going to be doing a second game. I know Sparty has some stuff he has to take care of in the afternoon, so he'll probably have to leave. Uh, but we'll be doing a second game where we'll, of course, be joined by... Uh, we'll see if Gojira and Pwn are around, and we'll uh, get some more matches going. So, should be fun. Good to be playing Smugglers. I think uh, Smugglers are probably one of my favorite factions. I just love the, the Haggard, Skaven, Undercities. I think it's such a fun mechanic. So we're going to give that a try and see what happens. Yes, the spice must flow. Must indeed. Milosi says, about to play my 5th ranked AoE 4 placement match. Hey, good luck. I believe in you. I played a couple last night, was able to have some redemption after my embarrassing uh, losses yesterday, which was always good. Alright. Okay, let me see if Sparty's here. And as soon as he's ready... Uh, yeah, I could do Harkonnen in the second match. The first match, though, I want to play Smugglers. Sparty is going to be playing Atreides. I think that's the faction that he uh, kind of liked in terms of playstyle and aesthetic. So it should be good. No worries. Okay, seeing if Sparty is ready to go. All right. You can just messaging him real quick. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys Smugglers while Sparty gets all ready on his end. And uh, let's go here and take a look at these bad boys. So if you guys are new to the game, these are the four factions that you can choose from right now. They are adding a fifth one, which is House Carino, which is the House of the Emperor. So if you're not familiar with the Dune universe, uh, there is kind of like... I mean, Warhammer 40,000, in many ways, seems to have drawn inspiration from the Dune universe, right? You have like this Emperor of Mankind and... Uh, and yeah, you do have that in Dune as well. He's not in the game yet, but um, he will be getting added in uh, the next patch, which uh, I would think would be happening soon-ish, probably like in the fall, September, October, who knows. But Smugglers, it's my jam. They can install Underworld Headquarters in people's bases. Now, this is really cool because you have a couple tech options. You can either like basically steal resources. Well, you don't actually take away resources from them, but you get a percentage of what they earn. So if you have like... If you have like an undercity in one of the, their cities that has like spice being gathered, you can build a bootleg market where you actually take a percentage of the resources, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also build military infrastructure. So you can like lay explosives under cities that you know you're going to be attacking. So if you're planning ahead a little attack in a region, you can lay explosives. Uh, you can set up a, a doctor in that region. So it's like an underground doctor. So it'll heal your troops in that region, which is really, really nice. So there's tons of cool ideas for sure. Hey, it's the Sparty. He's here. Dude, Christopher Walken is playing the Emperor. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Now, I I do think that they should when they add the fifth faction to the game. I'm a big advocate of them adding like five on the map at once. Because I think if they just like have like a maximum of four and then you have to like choose four of the five, it kind of takes away some of the flavor. What I really like about this game is the fact that in every single PvP game, essentially, you're getting... There's always a Fremen, there's always a Smuggler, there's always Harkonnen. It's really, really fun. I, I think they should just keep expanding the map and and uh, and adding more factions that are on there. Like, eventually, what if they get, like, six or seven? And then, I don't know, what other factions could they add, by the way? No, the new house isn't in it yet. But I can assure you when it is, there's going to be some Christopher Walken uh, thumbnails coming in. But, uh, yeah, I think they should just add them all in one map. Like, and not have, like... I mean, you can still do games. Like, if you want to, you can make, like, a 1v1 lobby, for example. And uh, just play 1v1, which is actually pretty fun. Like, it's fast-paced. Like, 1v1 games I played usually end in about 30 to 40 minutes. You know, and it, it's fun. It's actually really good. He's going to be looking for all the new cowbells. Yes, it's true. He will. He's going to be eyeing that prize. All right. So, going to ring Sparty. Let's see if he's here. And there he goes. So should be joining us here in a minute. He'll just jump scare us when he's ready. Hey, man, how's it going? You've gotten so impatient. I'm still naked. Oh, my goodness. Ryan, are you ready? Have you been practicing all night? Hold. Let's see here. Are you sharing your, are you sharing your screen? Oh, okay. 
he's back. <laughs> I think he's just getting a stream started. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, the smugglers very much play kind of like like Skaven a little bit. You're setting up these undercities, you get different benefits. What's also really cool is when you get to 10k hegemony, you get vision of everybody's main capital, so you can kind of see what's happening, and you can also build buildings in their main capital, which is pretty good. 1v1 race to atomics? Yes and no. Because atomics are, are very good. There's some factions that I guess don't use them as much. I suppose the Atreides don't because they really like to go for political victory. There we but go. turning down hey. a little bit. Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. We're uh. I, dude, my game's not booting up. Oh no! What treachery is this? What it, treachery is a foot? It was working this last night, right? Running. Yeah. yeah it was running. Have, might have to do some taskbar stuff. You know how I like to do. Okay. I believe in you, Ryan. I think you can do it. I'm gonna make it happen. Who makes this goddamn game? Uh, what is using up all of my memory? I know. So much crap. Oh, 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 oh. uh, so yeah, you, you recently watched the Dune movie, right? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, they're so good, man. Such. I'm so. Did, did you hear the discussion uh, we were just talking about on stream right now? We were saying that um, Christopher Walken is going to be playing the Emperor of Mankind. I uh, don't. Don't. He is. I'm not even joking. Listen, I can't. I can't take more disappointment in my life. No, no, so he actually is. It's, it's confirmed. It's real. How cool is that? That. So. Did, gonna need you to get that spice <laughs> now. I was hoping you'd do that. Imperative. <laughs> when they add them, because they're adding uh, his faction to this game. So right now we only have the four. We House have, Walken. <laughs> House Walken. Yes, they're adding House Carino, which is um, in the actual like lore of Dune, the um. The Emperor, who is going to be played by Christopher Walken, is actually the, I believe he's a cousin to Duke Leto, the Atreides. So that's kind of like, that is kind of like, yeah, there, there's a little bit of rivalry there, from what I can tell. What did I think of the Festus trailer? That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It wasn't, I, I liked the Slanesh one a little bit more, like the Corn Champion guy was super cool, but it was still fun. I enjoyed it. It's true, right? Um, yeah, it's true. I'm trying to figure out what's up. Let me reboot Steam. That's weird. You can't start your game? Yeah, that's weird, man. I mean, you're the tech savvy one, dude. I'm like a potato, so if anyone can figure this out, it's going to be you. <laughs> is, that your, is that your Festus laugh? Dude, oh, dude that, he, that basically everyone's like, oh, how would you think of the trailer? I'm like, you mean the minute and a half trailer of Festus just laughing and walking around a battlefield? Like <laughs> that was so good, dude. <laughs> I loved it. It was so great. Dude, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, yeah, there's a Dune game. It's great. All, all right, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really fun. It's yeah. That was so. I've I have not played more than the game that Turin walked me through yesterday. So so we're gonna be on a team. So we'll if you ha if you have any questions during it, and we we'll we'll do some schemes against whoever joins. But I'm sure some Terminators from chat are gonna join and just just give us the business. I think I might need to reboot my computer. Yeah, go for it, man. I'll be around. This hog swoggle. All right, I'll be right back. All right, man. Uh, let's see here. 55 people watching. This is going to be terrible. BRB, guys. All right, so Sparty's going to reboot his computer really quick. For some reason, his game isn't starting, so... We'll see if he can, uh, if he can make it back. Yes. The Spice Wars awaits. So, yeah, um, in terms of, like, overall play styles for the different factions, though, Atreides are very much, like, very powerful defensive military with uh, politics. That's kind of their playstyle. So they they probably Atreides probably have the best hands down military in the game. They play they play politics very heavily and they're really good at defending themselves. Uh, they can play aggressive, but I wouldn't say their strength is like expansionism. Now Harkonnen is like aggressive aggressive offensive military with uh, heavy heavy resource income via oppressing your people. So it's like they probably have the most like raw resource gathering with the oppression. It's very very good. So I think that's how Harkonnen rolls. Smugglers are uh, like probably one of the worst factions at actually being aggressive. Uh, you, usually what you do with smugglers is you kind of expand to a point where you're comfortable and you think you can win just based on the resources you've gathered via assassination or, or hegemony. And then you just like defend yourself because their units aren't really good at just like straight open field fighting and like taking bases. Like snipers are good at like cheesy open field stuff, but they're really, really not good at brute forcing fights. Show him the nukes. Uh, Sparty knows about the nukes, but he just played his first game last night. We we jumped on Steam last night, and uh, and I showed him how to play the game for like an hour, hour and a half, and that, that was pretty much his first experience. So we're going to be doing a 2v2 where I'm on his team versus two of you guys, so whoever can join. 
Yeah. Fremen are just like massive spice gathering and expansion because every single faction in this game gets a benefit from paying your spice tax to the emperor. So the Fremen get extra authority, which lets you take new territories faster. The smugglers get influence, which lets you do, you know, machinations, political scheming. Arconan just get like income and Atreides, I think, get something pertaining to income as well. I can't remember. Or to, uh, to influence. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah, so when Sparty gets back um, and sets everything up, let me see if he's rebooted. Uh, hit me up when you're back. We'll rejoin, and uh, if we could get a link to his stream, we can also do that. So you guys can watch both perspectives. I mean, you'll be able to see me, but if you want to see Atreides as well, you should definitely head on over to, to his perspective and see that. But we have two games today, so we'll be playing this first one with Sparty, and then we'll be doing another one after that. Yes. It will be good. Dude, if we could play the Dune soundtrack, it's so amazing. Oh my god. The Dune soundtrack is just a masterpiece. Carrying his... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I remember that! Maximus! Yeah, so in the original Dune movie, in the 1984 one, which has Patrick Stewart in it, and it's just like super, super over the top, um, House Atreides has like a house pug, like a pug dog. And he carries it into battle. There's a there's a clip of... Hold on, let me show you guys. It's the most ridiculous thing. Uh, Atreides battle pug. Okay, here you go. Let's see if we can find some some images here. It's just so over the top. Okay, I found some. Like, I, I don't remember, I just started reading the Dune books, so I, I don't recall there being a mention of like a pug, you know? Okay, so let's find this and perfect. So add battle pug, battle pug. Yeah, that's a really, really obscure reference, man. I, I totally forgot about that until you brought it up. So here's the, 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 this is a clip of the Atreides fighting off the Harkonnen. And this is Patrick Stewart playing, uh, he plays Gurney in that movie. He, so he plays the character that Josh Brolin um, plays in the, mo in the most recent one. And look at that. He literally like is battling the Harkonnen at the gates of, uh, on Arrakis when they basically get ambushed. And he has a battle pug. It's just, it's so absurd. Yeah, I couldn't believe, that's actually pretty good. We can, we could use that as like something. And then uh, there's another entry of the battle pug. So battle pug round two. Battle pug round two. All right. And where's that other one? Hold on. Yes, good, good. Here he is. Yeah, and here's here is uh, this. So this is the character that played Paul Atreides in the original 1984 Dune movie, and this is uh, who's the director for that? Wasn't it David Lynch? I can't remember, but yeah, it uh, it has the battle pug there as well. The battle pug inspires all. Yeah, amazing stuff. It's just absolutely hilarious. All right, Sparty's here. Just for the initial hey, little technical difficulty, I have no goddamn idea what that was about. Y'all good there, man? I'm all good. I'm all good. All right, so I'm going to host a lobby. Let me know when you're ready to join this bad boy. The muttling is good, Chris. The muttling is good. I'm, I'm good. I just, what do I type in to join? Uh, so just go to the multiplayer lobbies, and there's only going to be one lobby. Oh, it doesn't have a lobby list for me. It's because there are no games. It's I'm just making it right now, so you ready? Uh, is, should I even see like anything? It just is like a space, open space <laughs> search bar. You should now. Go ahead and refresh it. Oh, there it is. All right, perfect. So we got Disco King, uh, you and me versus Max Ben Jim and Disco King. So done. We go smugglers. So it's going to be smugglers and Atreides. The Atreides, you know, outsourcing their their uh, villainous work to me. And uh, yeah, man, <laughs> it's going to be good. Have, we were just talking about it. Have you seen the um, the 1984 Dune movie, the original one that has like Patrick Stewart in it? Years ago, yeah. years and years and years ago. Actually, I was thinking about rewatching it. Um, yeah, that's about as far as I got with that set uh, thought process. There's a battle pug in it we were talking about. Do you remember? So No, you, I don't. I don't at all. So you remember in the most recent Dune movie when the Harkonnen and the Sardaukar like, ambushed the Atreides on the planet and like basically backstab them? Y yes. You remember that scene? Yes. And it, so that happens in the original movie too. And you remember how like in this one, like Josh Brolin like leads the defense and like leads all the Atreides troops out to like fight 
when like, and they have like the bagpipes playing and it's super cool. Mm -hmm. You remember that? So in the original one, Patrick Stewart does that, but he has a like he has a pug in one arm, like a battle pug that he just like carries into battle <laughs> with him. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> This is absurd. <laughs> Dude, that's that's actually a really good impersonation. <laughs> we are actors. So what what agents are you gonna bring on your uh, for the Atreides? Uh, so I am going with Lady Jesse. And for those that don't know about this game on my stream, I know you've been expositing to your stream during the midst of my uh, technical issues. I'm going with House Atreides, which has uh, good, good military. Would we say good? Yeah. Yeah, the best military in the game, I'd say. Uh, of course, of course, right. Um, and they have a whole fun of shenanigans, a bunch of shenanigans they can pull with like basically voting and forcing a bunch of good things on them or bad things on other people or putting themselves into certain like heads of state and everything. But I'm taking two counselors. So you get two of four counselors you can select. So I'm going with Lady Jessica, which will allow me to impose any treaty upon other factions for 50 influence. They will need 100 authority to refuse. Starts with a non-aggression pact treaty unlocked. And then Gurney Halleck, which unlocks the veteran militia unit, which are quite good. And military units start with one more experience level, meaning they're already kind of a cut above the rest. Hell yeah, man. Pretty sweet. And uh, looks like we're good to start the game, unless there's anything else. Uh, you got any other questions? We're going to be on a large map, so it'll be like twice as big as the one you played last night. But with four people, it you know it'll it'll go pretty quick. And uh, and I think we're good, right? Yeah, man. Let's get where. Yeah, and if you have any questions, of course. So the, yeah, Sparty and I just were going over the game for the first time last night. So yeah, I, I barely know anything. So I'll be asking a ton of questions to Turin as like, hey, what do I do in this situation and stuff like that. I have the majority of the gist of the base of the game down, yeah. um, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty of questions that will fly his way. And if any of you are watching from my stream, please go and check out the mighty Big Dick Daddy from Cincinnati, Turin, and his YouTube channel. Uh, he has the finest YouTube channel that curates some of the best <laughs> cooking recipes finest I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, the finest, the finest ways. I've been, eat. I've been actually trying to learn more cooking stuff recently. Uh, for my birthday, my wife got me like a like an electric, like an outdoor grill, like an electric one, which was pretty awesome. So I've been trying trying a bunch of recipes with that. Okay, look up a guy named named Sam the Cooking Guy. Sam the Cooking He's, Guy. Yeah, he has a bunch of like low impact things that'll teach you how to cook. Yeah. Without being like, like oh man, I. I don't know what he mean by flambe. Like, I don't know what to do with that. So <laughs> Yeah, I'll absolutely check it out, man. Does he have any hot dog tutorials or? Yes, actually, he does. He has a ton. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm not going to mess around with my hot dog tutorials. Oh, yeah, man. Hot dogs are one thing I'm actually good at. Like, I feel like if you just like, you can just like pan fry them and then get like grilled onions and like some condiments. And it's just so good, man. It's so good. No, I'm not from Cincinnati. No, I'm actually from California. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. There, there's another conspiracy theory. All right, let's move here. Can I see you? Yeah, okay, I can see you. So you're directly south of me. So you and I are in the, I'm in the north, you're in the south, and they're to the west and east. Yeah, chat is only chat, but Disco King, if you guys want to hit each other up in Discord, um, I know Max Ben Jim is in Discord, so if you guys want to jump in voice chat or something, then yeah, by all means. Um, you say that, Chris, but we live in Southern California where we are rife for forest fires, so we actually cannot just simply have a electric grills or i'm sorry gas grills like i can't have a gas grill here yeah i you know the electric grill is cool because you know i don't want to necessarily deal with just like refilling the propane and dealing with the gas stuff all the time plus it's um it just takes a little bit longer to get going but it's honestly been pretty sweet so far so uh nick you gotta try this idea so you get don't do you do have it. chopsticks <laughs> do it nicholas <laughs> the chopsticks all right okay so you get chopsticks yeah and you get a hot dog you put the the chopsticks on the counter, and you put the ch the hot dog in between the chopsticks. So like a so, like a shish kebab kind of thing. Uh, no, no, just like on the left and right sides. Of it. Okay, okay, got and, it. And then you're gonna take a knife and score X's, basically. So basically, you make a bunch of like diagonal slashes one way, then swap it and do the other way. So basically, you got a bunch of X's going up and down the hot dog. Oh my god! And then fry the hot dog, like just put like a very little bit of oil, put it in a pan, and just fry it. And trust me. It'll blow your tits right off. Am I just going to be weeping with, with joy? Yeah. It'll be like, oh, <laughs> just <laughs> delightful. Oh my okay, God. so I built a refinery first. Yes. Was that the clay? Okay. Yeah, refinery. You Because the problem is if you don't build a refinery first, uh, you miss your first spice tax payment, and the emperor is going to come for that booty. It always does. And yeah. I go local dialect studies and then composite materials. And then energy markets. And then, 
Yeah. So okay. you just rush the energy markets. Yeah. And then you, but right. you, and as you remember from last night, when you build the energy market or the fuel cell factories, uh, for each six extra fuel cells you have, you get like a bunch of bonus income, which is pretty cool. Roger that. Yeah. So uh, you, Alex, here's a good question for you. Since you've played, a, Nick has, or turns played like 80 games. So we can answer this question pretty well for you. Yeah. Uh, thought about buying this, but it doesn't seem to be quite ready yet. Didn't want to burn out in the early access. So I bought Civ Beyond Earth and sort of a desert map. That works for me. But how would you say this game is stacks up right now, even though it is in early access? So I would say this game is really, really, really fun if you have people to play with. In terms of like, if you're someone who doesn't have other friends who are going to buy it with you, or who are also interested, like, it only goes so far as it pertains to um, a single player experience. Like, it's really fun to play single player maybe like three or four times, like once you play every faction once or twice, but eventually you're just going to dominate the AI. Like, you're just going to be karate chopping them in the neck super hard, right? So... Um, mm -hmm. It's more of like I think it's really worth buying if you have some friends to play with. That's like just my opinion. Like it's it's incredibly fun. Like these, you're gonna see how much how many memes happen in this game. It's just gonna be over the top. Um, okay, so I made that refinery, but I don't have any wind here, so I'm not gonna be making a uh, a wind trap. Correct. Three wind isn't terrible. It, it's, Where are it's, you seeing the three wind? I don't see it. So if you hit the I button, it's gonna pull up the wind value. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't see the wind anymore. I have no wind around me. Okay. <laughs> Then I should, should I then take my forces and get the place to the south of me for my wind so, and also for Plascrete? So I would, uh, usually I go refinery and then uh, go Plascrete after that. And then and then water, usually is a good uh, opening sequence. And then, but with my troops, should I take the second place yeah. if I have enough water and... Yeah, oh yeah. Food? Yeah, just you okay. want to expand as much as you can because with four people, you're going to start running up on the enemies and they're just going to be, uh, you know, okay. it becomes a, a kind of a mad land grab, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Energy market. When I've got, if you take a look at my, I don't know if you can see all the way down yeah, here. Yeah, I can see everything. Okay, so you can see how I'm going for this. Oh, never mind. This is one whole territory. I was going to say, how important is it to expand? Uh, never mind. Just ignore my statement. Sounds good, man. No worries. Just ignore me, dude. Forever. I believe in you, man. I think it's going to be great. Oh, right. uh, that region yeah. up to the northeast of you is actually a special region, too. So eventually that could be a good one to grab. But I did see that. Yeah, those, so those ones will give us hegemony. So. Yeah, so I don't know who's to the west or east of you. Um, so you haven't fought the Fremen yet. The Fremen are, you obviously know them from the movie, but they uh, they can ride their worm like anywhere. So they, they can't like fly around and they have limited charges of it, but they can ride the worm into like the back of your territory, for example. So you have to watch out for like sneaky Fremen ambushes. So just like on the note we were talking about last night, you really want to make sure that you, um, you have plenty of, uh, what's it called? Uh, militia, all of your, you know, your bases and. and uh, were you talking to me when you were saying what you're saying, or is that just like a general? Yeah, you, you to you. Oh. Just make sure you have militia in your bases because of the dreaded Fremen ambushes. Mm. I know that's the sound you'll be making if they if they ambush your base. Mm, Nick, don't let them ambush me. They will, dude. Got to put some respect oh, on them. Range raiders, okay. You being raided? Gotta put some respect on them. No. Uh, I just say like it didn't really interest me very much, outpost, but. Turin convinced me, and I picked it up during the uh, the steam sale, and it was pretty cool. Yes. Can the yeah. worm be fought? No. There's no way. And like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the worms are kind of like important to the. They they're the ones that create the spice. So like in the Dune universe, like I don't think they want to kill the worms because it's kind of like that's like why they're there is for the spice. So. So this game right now, uh, every so often, every two minutes and well, every five minutes. I get an agent I can place, so I'm placing yeah. mine on Arrakis, which will help with my authority production, intel production, and then Arrakis infiltration. The biggest thing here with intel production, it's going to enable me to do these missions on the right over here, like gear sabotage, which is going to reduce the enemy's power and speed, or supply drop, which is going to give supply and heal um, my troops. So that's pretty crucial. Uh, but then I can also put it into other things like Lanthrad, uh, Chwam, or Space and Guild. And each one of those would be like, Space and Guild helps with manpower, which is in, uh, connected to like my units and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So if you see me, oh, doing that, that's what I'm doing. Hey, you already know the game, man. I'm getting it, dude. Explaining it like a pro. I'm da daddy turning. <laughs> so I don't know who's to the east and the west. You can manually grab your, um, your Ornithopters too and like explore. In the direction when do I get a there. third one? You can build them right away. I just built a third one just now, actually. Sometimes I don't. I like just straight up don't. But um, now I, I think it's it's worth for sure. 
Okay, Crazy looking guy. good, looking cozy. Found another spice field, which is pretty rad. Uh, can you nuke your allies? Yeah, you can. But there's definitely oh. not. <laughs> there's no reason for that. Uh, I would never. I would never nuke Sparty. Those are reserved for yeah, Professor Pwn. Yeah, bullshit. Okay, so some people are saying that I can barely hear you. Let me turn up your Discord. Don't do it. Don't do it, Terry. Let me make myself feel good. You got to do it, man. Hi. Okay, so I just turned up Turin a little bit in my chat. Let me know if that makes it sound better. Um, my voice is the only voice you should care to hear. So that's true. probably what I'm trying to hit. <laughs> true, true. It's true as facts, man. Okay, so um, I've made refinery and plastic, so now I'm going to make wind here at my uh, little yeah. place. Yeah, the one that has four is even better, like where you have four. Oh, so should, should I not make the wind there then and make something else? You can do it. You can do it in both. It's fine. Okay. It's a pretty important resource as you expand and whatnot. I just didn't know if it was like, okay, you want to focus on this there, that there. Um, okay. Uh, and if you ever get a big surplus of water, like down the road, you can... Uh, you can basically like delete the water buildings in inefficient regions that have like less wind and replace them. Right. Mm. 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 The Great Volcano. Okay, I'm sending a drone to scout to see like where our enemies are. Okay, you look. Get you away. See, you see the northeast of you. Yeah, I the, can see the beginning of the Fremen. Thing. Yeah, and then the Harkonnen, I can see them appearing in the west. So it's oh, gonna be hard, man. They're they're hard. We're surrounded. They both have really good militaries. I, my military is definitely weaker than theirs. So what I'm doing here, guys, is you can actually micro, and if you tag these range units, they'll stop firing. So mm -hmm. um, right now, my range units are killing, my melee units fighting, and my other melee units are holding down the other range units. So hold, brother. Hold. Ryan's gonna carry. Are you gonna carry this game, dude? Uh, it would be my grand delight to finally carry you. And you, game. I think you will, dude. Today is the day. Yeah, you got. I wonder how political victories work. I think if like one of us gets it, it just counts as a victory. For <laughs> just me the whole time. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Got a second spice field going already. Harkonnens are expanding really aggressively towards me. So though. What are we gonna be doing with the council? Uh, so we'll we'll sink our votes. You know, because like for the imperial audit, because I don't really care about the council, but I smugglers do have some political influence. So what I'll probably do is just vote for you to get like sauced up on certain things, right? <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So on the uh, on the first one when it comes up, we'll we'll like we'll discuss the politics and how we want to vote and everything. Um, Total War freak. No, I think that I I've been playing Bannerlord Vanilla for since it came out, and I absolutely love it. So. I don't think you need mods. So the mods are amazing, though. So kind of take that with that grain of salt. Um, yeah, Nick. Really What's up, brother? I've, I've got this place. So I've built my plastic tree and my wind trap. And should I make a fuel cell factory yes. here? Or actually, or should I make a... I've only got plus one manpower. So should I make a recruitment office? Uh, I would probably go with fuel cells and then recruitment center. Okay. Because the I fuel cells will sauce your economy up as soon as you finish that tech. Okay, and I think we're... So we have a council vote. So let's uh, vote on... Uh, to give you lands rad standing. So I'm going to vote on you. Okay, what's the... Where, the uh, Imperial uh, Audit on the far left. Oh, got it. Yeah. So dump everything into it? So yeah, dump into that. So basically, and with that, that's going to... If we can get your lands rad standing really high, you're going to start getting elected to all sorts of political offices, which will give us like a huge <laughs> advantage. Like one does. Yeah, it's going to be great, dude. Some in insider trading and treachery and just all sorts of shit, you know? Man, I have like no water. I need to. I need to build some. I've got eighteen. If you need some, uh, I don't think you can trade water. Uh, 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 are you sure? Maybe. Uh, let's, yeah, let me check. So these things, guys. I have it. It says disable auto recall. So uh, basically, when they go to harvest this uh, spice field, every so often a worm will attack it, and if it's on auto recall, something will come and just try to extract it out. Sometimes it doesn't work, and it ends up just getting killed. But it's a pretty cool little thingy. The dreaded worm, dude. Dude, the depiction of the sandworm in the most recent Dune movie was so cool, man. Oh, oh, God, it was crazy. I, it scared yeah. the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so was... I'm thinking of taking this great volcano because it gets fuel cell factory resource production plus yeah. 100%. That's a really good region, dude. This, so, yeah. yeah, the special region there. And, uh, yeah, take that. Especially with energy markets. That's just so, that's right. like super prime time for you. I, I figured this would. Oh, uh, is that the Dune? Yeah, this is the one built from the Northgrad uh, devs. Have you played Northgrad, Nick? Northgard? Is, it, is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, 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 North Gardner. Uh, I haven't, but like make, playing this has kind of like inspired me a little bit. I kind of like, oh, maybe I'll give it a try. It's very similar, but also kind of different. 
So I'm thinking in this place, uh, Ishwan, which is kind of centrally located to all the places I'm probably going to expand around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a maintenance center. Yeah. To reduce upkeep and everything. That's good. Yeah. Because that'll hit your region, Grim, Alrek, and it'll also hit that. And yeah. Yeah. Good. Good call, man. Good call. I'm getting there. Um, and then I just made in this gold region, I made the processing plant. Then I was just going to go another plascrete. Yeah. Or actually. That's good. You want a lot of plascrete. It's it's very essential. Okay. Uh, next one I'll do is a is a manpower building. Where the what are the Fremen doing? I yeah, like... someone said and Mark McCoy said put an ornithopter on the harvester to help with worm starting. So yeah, you can you can have your ornithopters follow around your units or your harvesters, and it's a great way to kind of like keep like oh you get like a little bit of a of a, not, a notice ahead of time before the worm's about to devour something because I found out the hard way that they just mess you up. They do. They get that booty. Um... What you can do you to this new so it's, typically what I recommend is um, you let your ornithopters like explore the entire map. And once it's explored, you then assign the harvester, the, the, the ornithopters to your harvesters. So you should have What's that. an ex experimental ornithopter? Is that worth it? It's just like a mission. I don't think it's like different. Maybe it's like a little faster or some shit. I, I don't really know. I've never really like paid attention mm, to that. A simple offering of earth and water. Basically, yeah. Yeah, I just realized that I lost one of mine, so I'm going to make another troop right there. So I'm taking this over. Hmm, processing. Plant. Um, so is that 100% resource production for my faction? Uh, um, for what? This is for, for, so for Great Volcano, 100% fuel fuel cell factory resource production. It's just for that for region. my faction. Okay, so I want to make a fuel cell here. Oh for sure. yeah, dude, that's that's that'll give you like 12 or 16 in that region, which is times four. Like for each of the energy markets tech, so you'll just be like rolling in the bacon, dude. Dude, baconbits.com. Yeah, I'm about you're... to hit that. Oh, yes, I'm being raided. Who are you being? It's not by another player, right? No. So I wonder. I wonder if I can airfield to your base. Mm. I'm going to under attack assigned agent. Nice so rad. I think you have to have an airfield for me to do that. Uh, maybe I'll, I can make one. Not yet, I... but when the war starts and we start like fighting the other two players who are building up, like yeah, I think I, we'll... that that gave me the goose the goose pimples. I know. And you're like when the war starts. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna for sure need that. Okay, so I have to rebuild militia here. This is gonna be done in a second. Perfect. It's so surreal hearing Turin's real name. Yeah, yeah, I'm Nick. Nick is my name. Although yeah. Turin is my actual name, it's my middle name, so it's not that yeah, it's not my... that far fetched. Um, I now go into intelligence or survival training. So uh, I would go for countermeasures. It's on the far right side and just go down that yeah. tech tree. That'll give you faster agent recruit speed. Yes, done and done. That's right. For Atreides, it's pretty important because you use the agents for political uh, political stuff. No, we're actually up against uh, two other players. So yeah, uh, it's getting hot and horny up here in the hood. Oh, God, I already have the Harkonnen on my borders, dude. Ugh. Yes, yeah, good. No, not good, dude. No, it's good. Yes. And it's Max Ben Jim. He's actually really good at this game, so I gotta, I gotta be wary. Dude, you better be. I need you on your A game today, Nick. I'm, tr I'm gonna I try. can't lose again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try, dude. I'm gonna try. Oh, oh, I'm too weak. Let's go set up some right, other let me, cities. Let me. Okay, so that's. So this is. Oh Jesus, they're like all up in your biz. Yeah, that happens. I mean, pretty quick. But the Fremen haven't encroached on you. Maybe for you, start expanding westward so we can potentially like two v one the Harkonnen. Yeah. Uh, you see this place, uh, Gerta? It's a five wind spice field with a Ooh. worm nest. Yeah, that's nice. I was gonna peaceful annex that bad boy. Do it, do it. Oh, uh, I need. It's gonna take me way too many. Don't stand in the desert. One of my favorite things to do is just get wrecked by standing in the desert. Um, manpower is okay. Class. Actually, yeah, that's good call on that, Mark McCoy. I'm gonna go with this other this other one instead. Almost had 2k hegemony. Is there a clear best faction? Probably um, Harkonnen and Atreides are the strongest. Yeah. Fremen are the weakest, in my experience. But they can still win with base sniping. That's what they're really, really good at. Fuel cells. Um, we've got a plascrete here. Let's go with... This is what? Um, Uh-oh. Plascrete. I just discovered the Harkonnen... Sending drones into my lands. They have stealth drones. <gasps> so this is turn up here, guys. This is Harkonnen. 
Okay. Yeah, the Harkonnens don't have that big of an empire, though. They haven't expanded that quickly. So, I got a question for you. Um, you can see Ashwan, my territory. Just that one southeast, there's a pretty big spice field. Mm -hmm. uh, five wind spice field, and it's 110 authority. I'm at 133, and it takes me 149 to peacefully annex that one place over there with the worm nest. Should I go with the connected territory or try to get like a big of a bit maybe, of a leap? Maybe do the connected territory for now. Okay. Okay, the Harkonnen tried to raid me with their stealth drones, but I killed two of them. Dude, don't fucking allow it. I, dude, the it's heavy not, weapon squad. Not what was that? Dude. Or survival training? That's right. So we should I make should I should I have done survival training first before going into countermeasures? Uh, I'm just, just doing that because I'm in a border war already. Okay. So for you, I would go straight to countermeasures, but like. Because I'm at threat of being invaded by Harkonnens. You're 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 not at the moment. So I would just keep being greedy until you can't anymore is essentially kind of my my school of thought. Okay, there's a political to. vote going up. Um so we want to I'm gonna deny the water tax and go ahead and put the uh diplomatic congress, vote on House Harkonnen with that with all of your weight. That'll lower their political influence pretty heavily. So I'm I'm putting all my votes into that. Yeah, you just want to like because that will make the Harkonnen suffer. It's gonna it's gonna take away. And Fremen don't care about influence, so it's not really worth like trying to get them with that or anything. So can you recruit sandworms in this game? That's a question uh, the Fremen can summon them and ride them. Oh, which is really cool. Yeah, we're gonna go over here and grab this. Build a couple snipers. Yeah, the uh, smugglers are very good at defending. They they have these snipers that are just like. Super, super tough. What do I make here? Uh, no, I mean, the center's not worth it. I guess a research shot. Oh, fuck it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Terina. So what do we want to do here? I think we go ahead and do we have water? Get a missile turret here, just to be safe, since it's like a border territory. I'm going to go take over this, uh, this region here. All right. How's it going down there for you, man? All's good? I'm trying to figure out where to place things. Okay, uh, maintenance. Oh, fuel cell, fuel cell, that's right. Done. I believe, man. I gotta be grabbing I these. believe I can fly. Classic, dude. Reach on up and touch the scare. 90s were a different time, man. Think about it. That's actually not a 90s song. It's it's not, is that early 2000s? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going through the, the deep desert. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. It's okay, dude. I've lost many an army by because, like, you don't look at the pathing and then suddenly uh, they, they go through it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, my Ryan. rangers have fallen. Yeah, you just lost one guy. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. No, it's never gonna fit. It's never gonna fix. Uh, get fixed. When you were uh, when you were a wee lad, did you do a lot of like blockbuster runs with your friends and stuff? Oh, dude. Okay, so there's a documentary on the Netflix, and it is basically about the last blockbuster. Um, the, yeah, the last blockbuster. But he talks a lot about just kind of like going to a blockbuster and smelling yeah uh, like the smell of a blockbuster and it like unlocked a core memory like i entirely forgot how blockbusters smell yeah and as soon as that like they said like oh yeah you go in and you smell it i'm like oh my god oh my god yeah that like that cheap plasticky crappy smell like <laughs> oh it's real man it's real yeah, it's so good. I miss it, dude. I miss the shit balls out of it. It was pretty fun, like discovering movies, like just looking through aisles and then just seeing like these like ridiculous like like covers, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, those are those are. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like uh, walking through like a Barnes and Noble nowadays. I'm like, oh, I don't know what book I want to buy. You're like, yeah. Well, that looks like a book I want from the cover. Oh yeah. Sp Space Jam was an yeah. Space Jam was a '90s movie with Michael Jordan. Yeah. 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 Late '90s. It was pretty great. The new Space oh, Jam. You know, oh, God, go ahead, sorry. sorry, I'm getting ambushed again. No, look, no, look up no, in my territory, Ryan. You can show your stream. Oh, uh, never mind. It disappeared. There, there's Harkonnen are using these like stealth troll units to like appear in my territory and try and like snipe my spice harvesting. These sons of bitches. It's a, it's a very strong tactic, but smugglers um, have got, sniper rifles, so they can deal with it. I've got minus fifty percent uh, unit recruitment. So should I just make more rangers and troopers, even though they're not amazing? Um. I would, uh, for now, unless you need military, like, if you have enough to expand, then I would just, I would just wouldn't worry about building more at this point. Like, the demo oh, troops yeah. are the best. So once you finish the, uh, the spying technology you're getting, you're going to want to get the demo. Oh, shit. What's up? Fremen? Oh, I definitely forgot to make, oh, man, I forgot to make a militia over here. No, oh, it doesn't take it immediately. You have time. 
Oh, I don't have unit units. Nice I'm going to make those units I was talking about. Yeah, it, it's it's a long time until the AI captures it back, so yes. I think you're chilling. I'm running out of supply in this super long run. Right, no, don't do it. Oh, it's happening. Okay, so we're going to drop the probe set up here, which is going to reveal some critical intelligence. And now we can see the dreaded Harkonnen probe, see? Look, look, we can see the rats in our territory. Oh my god, look at them. That's so troll, dude. The Harkonnen probes are in my lands. Oh man, I don't know if I can get that back in time. What happens if, the, if they completely take it uh, over? You just lose it, and then you just have to retake it. Sons of bitches! I know. Uh, that's on me. That is reinforces Turin's point of making things. Making the militia. That's my knowledge. I keep working on countermeasures. Um, I don't know what to make it at Aishwan. I've got everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess maybe a military. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just looked at my holy crap. Negative three. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, the worm. Never moved. Jason, Get out of there, Nick. Harkonnen are losing drones at a pretty uh, frequent rate, which is good. Perfect. So I just killed all their drones. Will it keep liberating if I'm like contesting it? Uh, if you no, yeah, you're fine. If you're there, it's you're safe. Oh, I just stopped it. Then. Yeah, you literally got there with like a second left, dude. Dude, that that's that's how you do it, man. That's the that's the big play, man. That's the big play. Okay, so we want a refinery here immediately. So we have politics coming up here. Mm. Uh, okay. So here's the here's the thing. The Harkonnen put their taint on the lands rad <laughs> resolution, but since I don't care about that, put all, so select the smugglers for the for the lands rad support. Okay. You see the one on the okay. far right, and just put all yeah. your votes into me because I don't care about the Harkonnen's taint. Like my faction doesn't care about their lands rad. So just vote for me, and then that'll give me a bunch of military units which I can go stomp them with. Uh oh, my stockpile of imperial tax is not going to go well. Oh, oh, are you just low all right now? Yeah, I'm at. I I need. I'm like sixty low. Oh shit. I can trade you here. Uh, I'm sending you a uh, trade. Yeah, sixty. Send me sixty. Okay. Okay, it's sent. Go ahead and accept it. Oh ho ho! Yeah, baby. Team coming in clutch with the last moment plays there. Dude, look at that. Look at the team. Would I we ever want to live in or near a desert? So Nick and I live in Southern California, which is culturally speaking, as far as the uh, uh, geographical culture of this region, a high desert, meaning that it has been not irrigated, but it has been enough water has been transported south to make it no longer a desert. So I currently live in one, and it sucks. It's pretty hot right now. Yeah, I fucking hate it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, there's I love there's a lot of things I love about where we live for sure, but. The summers yeah. are, are pretty rough, admittedly. They're they're they are uh, they're pretty serious business. Okay, so when you eventually get the means to upgrade your main base, don't forget to build that knowledge building. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so do I, I do two, and then I'm making the uh, research center, right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. The research center in a in a double district is what I usually recommend. Okay. So, uh, Mark McCoy just made this statement. Switch my biter, my slider. I'm now 30, 70, 30% 30 Chwam, 70% talk stockpile, yeah, or do I want can, to be the other way around? You can adjust it I, based on, like, if you're meeting your quota or not. Ready. Oh, I got the Lance Chad guard thanks to your vote, dude. Oh. Dude. The Harkonnen dude. are going to pay the iron price right now so hard. Ready. Oh, dude, yeah. that's I love that term, dude. It's so good. Pay the iron price. Okay, let's take this over. Head down here. So, yeah, basically, if you look up into my territory now, Oh god. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the worms. Oh, 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 oh. You see those three troopers on my southern border with like the, the Oh, shit? the worms. God damn it. That's a nice spot. I thought they would make it through uh, there, but I was wrong. Ready. Southern border. Okay, yeah, I see him. Yeah, those guys, yeah, 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 those guys right. are like the terminators. So, the political vote you just did basically gave me them. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. I, I know. My gift to you. The big Sparty gifts, dude. <laughs> okay, let's build this bad boy out. Let's go with a plascrete. Cursing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking, okay, so you see the lower right corner of my map, Sad Sand. I'm thinking of making an airfield down there because it took a long, like yeah. a lot of my resources to get all the way down there. Absolutely. That's that's really good instincts. Like building um, building airfields at your like really far away bases is always a pretty good idea in my experience. Silos. Okay, well, a silo. how does that work? What's a silo do? 
Spice so I'm silos. silos. Uh, if you're going for the spice technology, which is like the yellow tree, spice silos give you extra um, extra spice in that region. Basically, it's okay. I tend to focus more on energy markets and like that for my income, but you can totally do it, and it's not going to hurt you. So, okay, let's build this. Ryan, it's time for the first battle boot. Dude, the Harkonnen are going to pay the price. If I, my army gets eaten by a worm, I'm going to be so sad. Agreed. Does he have a missile turret here? He has one, and ooh, he's actually got a lot of militia. Oof. Oh, Bella. Oh, thank you, Cactus, you hot whore. I love it. Um, okay, uh, that's all good there. Oh, these guys are up here. Cool, 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 cool. You just owning there, Ryan, or what? For sure. For sure. Cool, cool, cool. Um... God, this is such so a what long is this? Run. Oh, number of units defending this village is two. Got it. Cool. I'm gonna be super focused here on this battle. So just, dude, just do it. Just I want you to get thick with it, boy. I'm trying. Uh, for those of you watching on my channel, make sure you are following my Twitch so that you can get get a piece of that really good goodness that's coming when we jump into Dark Tide not too long from now. Twitch.tv slash. Yeah, let's do gear sabotage. Honestly, don't know how this fight's going. Uh, Harkonnen are losing are stuff. Okay. I might Here's die, the big fight, though. guys. No, you're going to be fine. I mean, I'm killing a lot of their stuff, but I'm also losing a lot. Damn it. Because the worm is trapping me here. I wish I had... I wish I had... Uh... You're fine. You're fine. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just retreating my injured units. Um, I just started putting into the... Um... Spice guild, so I'll be able to. I don't know if it helps you, but I I can gear sabotage down there, right? Like uh, where you were attacking. You could I already did that, so no worries. <laughs> um, do I want a geothermal energy? Yes, I do. Holy shit! Yeah, damn missile turret's gonna kill me. Well, uh, on the bright side, we killed all the militia and his entire army. We basically traded stuff. Probably a little bit better for them though. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to Intelligence Agency. And now it's time to start doing the Undercity shenanigans. Let's get some more snipers and set up Undercities in the Harkonnen lands. Undercity! Release the Skaven! Jesus Lord. Deep desert. That's right, man. Okay, so let's do spyware. We have another agent ready, so let's go for the Shone Branch. Does he have? I don't have. I yeah, I ran out of supplies. I guess I should have maybe just stayed and fought, but it wouldn't have mattered. Everything would have died regardless. But we had to. We had to give it a try. All right, tech. Let's go for the. Um, let's go for the lay of the land now. Let's see how much money Harkonnen have. One point seven. Okay, they're quite a bit poorer than me, so that's that's a good sign. Maybe we'll take some snipers over there. Oh my god, the Harkonnen stealth probes! Sniping my spice harvesters! On Schultz, I would love to play uh, it again. Yes. Alright, let's get you. And do we want a missile turret here? I don't think so. Do we want water? Uh, we what I did right there was I moved my units back to reset aggro on them, just so you could for, like, say, Warcraft or any like the kind of a conventional RTS-style games. Um, yeah, I actually absolutely would recommend this game if you have friends to play with. Uh, Landstrike, vote. Oh, okay. What do we got? Uh, production, military development, completion speed, and, and uh, every faction loses 30 launch rod standing. So for you, I would just save your influence here. There's nothing that's really decisive, so I would just say save your goodies at this uh, for this one. Consider it done, my lord. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Fremen are getting up on me close. Yeah, Real get ready for fight. a fight. They're, they they probably saw their Harkonnen allies getting attacked, so they're like getting a little bit ornery here. Hey. Hmm. Mm. No, they're still a little ways, you know. They're still a little ways away. Got to keep that Harkonnen expansion in check. Okay, we're getting these heavy weapon squads. Yeah, baby. Give me that heavy fucking weapon yeah, squad. Yeah, just spam those things. They're super strong. Okay, I'm setting up under cities all over the Harkonnen lands. I love the sound of that. It's so funny, dude. I'm going to start setting some up in the Fremen lands, too. Why can't I? You cannot build another type of that building. Oh, oops. Uh, it's probably because you already have one. Then I want to make I want to make a uh, military building, the recruitment center in a three-tier place, right? 
Yeah, the military you can do in a double region if you have that option. Or do oh okay, military in double region. Yeah, because that gives you power. Statecraft. And sta it, statecraft, statecraft and triple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I do military first or statecraft first? Uh, I would do the intelligence agency for the agents. So the statecraft one. Done. Yeah, that would be that'd be good. Mm, what do we want to build out here? We want a manpower building. Let's just get some knowledge. Knowledge is power. Okay, so nothing Sweet. bad happened in the lands rad. About to finish this, which is excellent. Oh, oh what? Oh god. You're the right worm. There, man. You good? It, the worm scares me, man. It just scares me when I I know, it's it's very stressful. Many a game of ours has been karate chopped by the dread worm, I can assure you. you need a Let's take over this region. Keep developing our undercities. So I'm basically just going for the uh there's a smuggler technology that randomly unlocks technology each day that your opponent controls, so it just gives you like free tech research, which is really good. Mm. I know, very juicy. Let's take control of that. I'll eventually have a tech rhine that will help you in case you get invaded. So if somebody like invades you, I can poison the uh, equipment reserves in that region. You poison the watering holes? Yeah, basically. And it will uh, it'll help you out. My, did we explore the whole map already? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, my guys are done. Did my other spice field get karate chopped and I never rebuilt it? Um, This is kind of a... Hey, I'm thinking of making... Oh my god, I lost the a, Either wow. a military base or something at San San. Which is a sad sand, which is like my furthest southeast place, closest to the Fremen ter territory, pretty much. You can, just make sure to build missile turrets and stuff there. Yeah, yeah. so I was going to make missile turrets first. And just kind of go from there. I, was, I legit just lost the spice field randomly because I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to make sure I make a silo. No, I don't have that. Hmm. Undercities are coming along. Good. Go get my spice fields back. So yeah, I did lose the spice field. No point in saving the free votes. That's right, you get some free votes. Yeah, so somebody in chat just reminded me. You do get a couple votes for free. I think it's like 80 or 100 or something. So you might as well spend those every time. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll get it next time. Oh, I didn't know that works like that. I didn't know that your main base already has like a built-in... Airfield. Airfield. Okay, so I went to like... I made an airfield at the place next to my base. That's dumb. Oh, you're, you're fine, dude. You could just delete it and get like yeah, a partial refund, yeah. Yeah, I just did. Don't stress Okay, it. let's go ahead and make... What's this? Craft workshop change five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, that's fun. that seems fun. All right, cool. We got our militia. Yeah, I think the Fremen came and sniped my spice field here when I wasn't looking. I think they rode a worm in. Cause it it was somewhat secure. I'm not sure how they would have done it otherwise. Okay, we were pretty well developed. We have a spice coming back in. Disco King trolling me. The Harkonnen haven't expanded in a while. Looks like they're trying to expand now. Uh, there's an upcoming lands rad. Mm. Which, how much water are you sitting on, by the way? Uh, 20. Hmm, I'm trying to think. We could actually make like a really annoying play to them. If they have like a lot of excess water, we could we could make the water tax happen. And then like just, if neither you or oh! I. Oh no no go 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 go! Oh god go! Oh uh, <laughs> the worm! Oh my god the worm the worm it's the worm! Now you're now you're oh, starting to scary. enjoy have the true Dune experience, dude. Oh, I press space bar instinctively to try to pause. Yeah, that Just, was spooky. I know it's it's the fun, it's the funniest shit though, man. When the worm comes. Oh god, that was my butthole. No no you can feel it. Clinch. So I'm assigning the uh, drones to my harvesters now. Uh, you know what? Let's do this just in case the Haggard Fremen come again. And tech tree. What do we want to do next? Lay of the land is done. Border defense is actually pretty good. That'll give us militia. Extra militia slots. Trixie Hobbits is indeed. All right. So Ryan, if you get invaded, just call to me, and I, I have an ability that can help you from over here now. <laughs> Sounds good? Like that. Sounds good, man. Go. So I'm going to go have some fun with my snipers here. See if I can cause some problems for the Harkonnen. Dude, please do it. Do it. I, was, I threw up my mouth right there. You threw up in your mouth a little bit? <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> what'd you, what'd you I'm, have for I'm fine. Did you have something like grungy for breakfast or what? No, I had eggs, egg whites, fucking chicken wheat bagel, and goddamn apple. That's what I have to do. Wow, I fucking hate my life. God, you eat super healthy, man. 
I went to an Italian deli and had a meatball sandwich, dude, just rolling in it. Dude, that sounds so fucking horny. I it was love so it. good. It was so good, man. Oh, oh so Landsrad's coming up. Uh, sandworm. Oh my god, please make it. Invading the Harkonnen is really hard here, guys, because I have to run through this big... Op- I think I need to take this territory and then invade from there if I want to press them. Or I just keep expanding and ignore them, which is... Landsrad awesome. Council, okay. Oh, I uh, support... Do I do the water tax one? Uh, how much water do you have at the moment? 15. What's your income? Uh, 6,000. Oh, uh, you're, you're, you're like not your total sum, but you're the income you're getting per day or whatever. 138. Let's do the water tax and see if it punishes them. Because both of us, you and I have really good incomes. We don't know if they do. Mm-hmm. So I'll vote on the water regulation and you vote on Landsrad standing for yourself. Like, go hard in the paint for Landsrad for yourself. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But 2v2 in this game is actually pretty fun. Like the, the machinations we're able to come up with, I, I'm definitely enjoying Yes, indeed. Mm. Okay, raiders. I'm going to keep expanding towards the Harkonnen. Eventually, I'll be nuking them for sure. Although, they can nuke me also. How rich are the Harkonnen? They have 2.2k. So, yeah, I don't know about their water. Like, I don't have very much water, so the water tax isn't going to hurt me. And if they're both banking water, then it's just going to punish them super hard. All right, so we got that coming up. Harvester, get active. Oh, no. Cancel recall. Put that. Let's go. Fuel cells. Oh my god, the worms! The worms, not the fucking worms! The worms are such a nightmare, dude. Will the Harkonnen come for me? Yeah, I, the smugglers are the fourth faction. That's who I'm playing. Yeah, yeah, you have a nice empire down there, actually. Mine? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. You've I ex- grow fat. You've expanded um, well. So I've done uh, homeland and defense systems. What's the next one I go into? Oh, I, I under, understand the beauty. Got it. Yeah, that, that's that's a really good one. So the water regulation is here. Bribe default. Oh, I missed my I missed one of my bribes. Uh oh. <sighs> I need to like stockpile. Yeah, they actually screwed me up a little bit. Two spying operations successfully besieged one village owned by another faction. Um, that's just not going to be happen. Harkonnen are coming for coming for me, Ryan. Okay. They hunt in the night. Uh, cool. Yeah, we get you. This region's pretty well developed at the moment. We need another militia there. All seems good. Yeah, so the water tax is probably going to punish them. Let's see. Looks like they're losing a little bit of dough. I need to worry about class creed a little bit more. I'm really low on we that. can trade that too. If you're really desperate, hit me up. But. Um. No, not really super desperate, but I need to really be more mindful of we it. We can also do agreements between us. Um, I'm going to send you a knowledge uh, knowledge agreement, okay. which is like a research trade, and it will give us, uh, both of us will get more knowledge. You probably should have done that earlier. You idiot. Fool of a chuck, dude. Fool of a chuck. All right, let's develop these undercities in the Fremen lands. Intel right, and... I should, I should probably take this over. Okay. Um, cool. You need a... Class crit here. I believe, Ryan. Um, (laughs) So good, dude. Can't stop it. Uh, All right. uh, Is there anywhere I could could do a little friendly annexation? You could. Um, The annexation of Puerto Rico. You could could set up. How good is your military right now? Is it pretty strong? I mean, I've got I've got four troopers, two heavy weapons and a ranger. So here's let's get a little wild, dude. Peacefully annex one of the territories north of the Harkonnen. Do do the the city Bird Dude or Bird Dude, Bird Dude. Hat it's, Bat, where is it? It's it's just north of Talanim. I wish I could show you. Uh, north of their capital. It's like. Oh, dude, I see. I see. I see. I see it. Yeah. So annex that. Build an airfield Ooh, there. Cost two hundred and forty-four. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's not worth then. Just keep expanding normally. Then we'll do that later once there's yeah, like more of a surplus. That's, that's pretty wild. Yeah, it's it, it adds up for sure. I need to connect my lands. Actually, I should probably grab this. There's a there's a land. So there, do you see Mount Idaho? Uh, Mount Idaho. So look at my. Uh, it's two regions to the northeast of my capital. Okay. What what about? Yeah, it's a really good region if you can take it. Should I take it before the Fremen do? It wouldn't be a terrible idea. As long as you can kind of defend it with something. Okay, Landsrad is coming in a little bit. We have some time. Ah, oh, okay. He's using stealth robes to troll me. 
the dreaded Harkonnen tricks. Okay, let's get you set up. What can we do here? Um, the... Airfield's going to take all my units. Bring them right over there. Underworld bribes. Let's do... Damn Harkonnen self probes are just trying to snipe all my shit. It doesn't give you a notification when they're under attack, which is the weirdest thing. I think it's time to give the Harkonnens the business soon. Dude. X gonna Dick give them down, soon. daddy. <laughs> X gonna what? The Fremen look to be expanding towards you, so just be be aware that there could yeah, like if you take that territory and then set up like a military, like like yeah. missile battery, just like fully erect like situation there. That's exactly my plan. Like just fucking fortify the crap out of it. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Are they lurking over here? I think they were. Let's gonna make sure we stabilize this. Let's jump on you. Build a military base here. Hmm, I don't know if the militia will hold that. <laughs> Nick, a simple offering of earth and water. Let's see. Plascrete, yes. Plascrete is always good. What else can I build here? Uh, that's right, we can build the barracks. Let's do that. Listening. Yeah, I'm surprised the Fremen haven't warmed into any of our territories yet. It's good. Oh, you have some troops in the south. Oh, you're taking that village. Okay. Yeah, I figure I should. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's not amazing, but it's just to kind of connect up my lands and everything. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. And it's I'm trying to get as much stuff adjacent to uh, H1 as I can because it has a uh, maintenance center. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you're already, good uh, you're already good at this game, dude. And Tyrese, yeah, it's a uh, it's in early access. It's uh, honestly it feels pretty complete, though. It's just like, obviously, they, uh, they're they going to... They've already confirmed their, in their roadmap they're adding features pretty soon. Council vote. Okay, council vote. Let's vote on the affected faction loses. Okay, let, vote the Harkonnen for the Diplomatic Congress. Uh, okay, done. Uh, Mark McCoy, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that one. To do a double, uh, double, what's it called? The Harkonnens are just trolling me so hard with these stealth probes. Oh my god. Okay, developed, developed. We've got our lands rad going. I killed all their stealth probes, so my things should heal. Oh, uh, what's this harvesting team? Oh, okay, so I got it. Dude, you look at you. You're you're about to have a border skirmish with the uh, with the Fremen. It looks like. I know, man. I'm making a putting down a missile battery. Going to make a military base. Yep. Building. Uh, I built two demo and two veteran militia there. It's yes. going to be a thick apotamus. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like you're pretty well prepared. Uh, do I make recruitment center or barracks? Is my first uh, military building in a two socket. I would probably go for the barracks first. Okay. The one that gives you just raw power, like raw, like true powers, is going to be pretty solid. And I'm I apologize to chat. Usually, I'm way more chatty to chat, but this has been a like a little bit more of a fast paced game that it's a little bit harder for me to. Dude, you're doing great, dude. Do that. Um, where is that thing? Is it called arms? What's the one that allows me to make? Oh no, it's defense system. That's the one that allows me to make extra military. Correct. Uh, missile battery. I have like okay. no water in my regions whatsoever. It's bad. Nick. I know I'm suffering, dude. Just just dying of thirst here in the desert. This looks like a thinky game. Um, is it a thinky game? Yeah, it's definitely. If we're playing since it's PvP, I definitely kind of have to be a little bit quicker on the draw. But nothing you can't handle, man. Yeah, like it's. I think it's definitely very manageable. It, it's it can seem a little intimidating, but it's definitely very manageable. Oh, all my harvesters are not doing dick. I know that. I always like look at my harvesters, and it's just. Just realize, like, they've been sitting AFK for, like, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, you do definitely have to focus. That's a good call. Let's get an airfield here. So I can shuttle over. Go. I'm going to take the middle, by the way. And get, oh! the, get the water extractor there. It's going to be prime do time. It. Do it. Get I, I haven't had any water, like, this whole game, so... I, I literally can't build more troops because of it. Come on, Nick. I know, I'm a failure, dude. Uh... I've not played Endless Space. Have you played Endless Space, Nick? I haven't. I don't know what that is. Oh! <laughs> oh! Does that answer your question? <laughs> it sounds cool, though. Very, very cool name. All right, let's build some water here, even though it's only two region. Hegemony threshold has been reached. All right, so let's keep developing our undercities from before. 
Dude, I'm starting to push hard on uh, uh, Hegemony. Yeah. Atreides are the kings of that. They're just like, they just go crazy. Dude. Oh, crap. I totally forgot I didn't to grab this. Okay. Uh... And that's a way we can win, too. If we if you just have the most hegemony and we just, like, sur sur outlast them, then, yeah, it's just, like, we just we just win. Nice. Got another one of their annoying drones there. I need to make this over here. has got to have a, another missile battery. Don't do it. Don't do it, Nicola. Salando. All right. 204 to take that over. My goodness. That's a lot. The middle one. Oof. But, dude, it's so good. It's it's a special region. Plus, it's ice, so the worms don't come to it. So it's like a pretty safe little spot you can you can mess with there. Um, no, this isn't turn based. It's it's like real time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty close to me. Maybe I go with that. What is this? Class Creek Factory Hegemony. Okay, so I'll definitely do that. Right next to me. Um, do I trade ten water for four spice, and I've got twenty two water? Yeah, you could, and you can because you can cancel that at any time. Right, so I do not have a, an airfield here, uh, Mark, but I didn't. I don't really think it was much of a threat all the way over here. Um, I don't know, Nick. Do you think I should put a in the lower left portion of my of my empire, Gerta? Do you think I should put a uh, yeah airfield down there? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. It's a uh, although no, you're safe because the Fremen are really far away from it. They're the only yeah. ones who could really get there easily. So the worm can't travel that far. So I think you're okay. Oh my god, my harvesters are all AFK. Let's get, going. let's get going! I like how they all have one voice line. It's like, let's get going! The old dreaded Fremen back door. Are they, are they trying to? No, that's what he was saying. Like, be careful the back door. You got him, man. No, man, no. Alright. Uh, this place over here. Develop oh, under wait. cities. I usually just build those two buildings in my under cities, guys. That's like the, the main thing I focus on. And then eventually I'll build the military ones if I'm like planning on attacking. Yeah, that one will damage the militia. Let's go ahead and get the Whisperer's Lair. The Whisperer's Lair is really good because it gives you intelligence and also makes it so they can't really capture your agents. It's really, really strong. What that fucking warden? The wardens are so cool. Just oh, yeah. Fucking lightning shields. Yeah, the, the Space Brain Terminator guys. Yeah. They're really strong. Fuel cell plus great. Uh, let's go with... That's eh, four. Let's do that. All right. So our nations, the tips are almost touching, dude. You see it? <laughs> oh, Trebek, say it again. <laughs> you love it. They are. Look at them. Yeah, dude, look at them. We're, about to, we're, not, we're literally about to touch tips. Look at that. Only thing that's barring us is Quartanium. I know. We're not everything would be perfect here. Uh, what's this? Raid detected. Okay, they're coming for Gyno. Yeah, the Fremen, keep an eye on the, the, uh, the problem with Fremen is a lot of their stuff's invisible. They have like stealth, so you can't see them. So just, just be, be alert that they could, they could strike at any time. I have a, like an ornithocopter on my. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of spotting them. Just kind of. Uh, on my, on my main like force. Yeah, good. All right. Okay. So you see you guys how we're getting all this technology being researched for free? That's from our building that we're making. Uh, Lance tried vote. Yes, let's take a look and see. Uh, okay, nothing here is really worth. Maybe just put... Yeah, uh, just you do your free votes on the uh, research investments. So you, uh, you, sh you have... Um, let me see how many free votes you have. 130? Yeah, so you just do that. Okay. And you'll be, uh, you'll be, you'll be taking it easy, man. Taking it easy. Uh-oh. Yeah, from an, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see your sneaky shit over here, you piece of shit. Look at yeah. <laughs> uh, look at look at Gerta. Where? Where is this? Uh, lower left corner. They've got two probes there, and what the hell is that question mark? Yeah, we're getting five hundred plastic. We're making a fucking airfield here. <laughs> they they, they heard it. They heard us on stream being like, yeah, the yeah. women won't get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I I know you guys are listening. You sneaky sons of bitches. They're coming for you. They want blood, dude. Get that get that shit out of here. Uh, yeah, the the the, the, uh, the ornithopters going away. It's like, uh oh. Ornithopters are the only way to kill an ornithopter is with a nuke. So, don't get too excited. Uh, like it just it just started moving. It was like, uh, uh, um, it's peacing out. Let me see if I can fly to your lands. Okay, so unfortunately, I cannot. Do you have any airfields built right now? 
I have many an airfield built. Okay, you, we can't. You can't utilize your allies' airfields, unfortunately. <sighs> so I have one close <sighs> to your base. So worst case, I could oh. land in the middle and run to you. God, it's fucking things get the crap out of me. She's all naked and alone over there. Ooh. Hmm. Let's take the intelligence. Crowd manipulation. Let's do a crowd manipulation. This is a really good one, guys. It forces a rebellion in a targeted region. So you usually want to do that in sync with when you're attacking. Sparty and Turin touch tips would be an amazing podcast name. Yeah, dude, could, could you be great. imagine? Could be great. Could you imagine us actually touching tips though as an OnlyFans feature? Like, dude, that would just be that would pop off. Well, only for <laughs> only Franz is what it would be called. Oh, only friends. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Hmm. Fremen are pretty chill so far. I'm scared. You can po you can poke in prod. You yeah, can... they, they're now they're now touching my lower right region, which is uh, a, a hell of a sentence. Yeah, they're 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 exploring. They're testing their boundaries, huh? Can we take this region over? Uh, once we get the water sellers contracts, we can build the water extractor in the middle, guys, and then we'll be we'll be rolling in it. Uh, let's get a fuel cell factory. Why not? So I'm just playing very defensively right now. Yeah, Max Ben Jim is very experienced, the Harkonnen player. He's he's played a lot of games. I don't know about the Fremen though. One of your okay, so we need to have okay. I lose fifty manpower, but gain yeah, that's gonna yeah. be just fine. Yeah, that's fine. Manpower is like usually in pretty good excess at this point in the game. Alright, so water sellers contracts will give us the extractor. And then we can start on the spying mastery. Mm -hmm. Goddamn sandworms. Spook me out. They're scary. They definitely are. Oh, oh, I see. There's some warriors down here in the southeast. Just basic warriors? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Those are just Fremen, like, tier one units. So, the ones you got to watch out for are the Fidakens. They're, um, they're the, like, the elite karate choppers. They're really strong. Well, I just have a missile battery here and, and an airfield, so I have a chance to kind of... Respond. It takes a long time yeah. to take over a region, so usually you can you can get there pretty quick. No, we're playing yeah. on actual teams. You can actually team up. Like Sparty and I can see each other's bases, and and yeah, sandworms, sandworms. Uh, what a minute. They're everywhere. Uh, okay, Kulan Caravan. Oh, I'm not liking that. I'm gonna get Ornithopter down there. So this is the water extractor building, guys. It gives you plus fifty water, which basically means you don't have to think about water ever again in the game. It's very, very good. Cool on caravans, yeah. Those are um, they they can resupply from an armies, which is pretty rad. I moved a, a helmet over here. What's that thing? What the hell is that thing that I'm identifying? What's going on, dude? There's some witchcraft. Oh, there's there? there's some there's some tomfoolery afoot up <laughs> in this bitch. Just call, as soon as there's a big fighter, you get attacked. You just let me know. I have a lot of things that can help you from far away. Like oh yeah, uh, southeast sad sands going down. Let's see how much money they have. So the Harkonnen are pretty poor, actually. And so are the Fremen. Okay, so we're in good shape, I think. Okay, uh, should I do anything down there? Uh, y you can, hang on a sec. Not yet, but you can poke and prod, actually. Hey, oh, I mean, your base is being attacked. Yeah, yeah, get that's down That's what I was saying. Yeah, go kick their butts, yeah. go, go, go. I'm trying to, I gotta get my forces in, in range of a thing. I didn't realize they weren't. You got time, though, don't stress it. Like, even if you lose those buildings, it's not a huge deal. You can just rebuild them. And your militia away. might, you know, your militia might actually win that. Uh, I think it did. <laughs> yeah, your militia won, bro. I think it's time for the counterattack, so get down there and push them. Okay. Yeah. Ready to oh my god, the worm. <laughs> oh my god, the worm. <laughs> the worm. Not the worm. The worm. The fucking worm. Okay. I'm 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 building up just the glory for you, Ryan, so you can see it. Oh. Dude, it's time for the Atreides retribution, dude. Dude, let it come. So here's how I can help. I can do a crowd manipulation in the territory behind them to distract them. I'm going to do one up north. I just did a, re a forced rebellion in the Fremen spice fields in the north. So now would be a good time to attack because they're going to be draining from resources. And uh, yeah, That's a nice spot. so I just did that. Time for that. Very good. Raid detected. We got everyone all happy and cozy here. Perfect. Get you all set up. Listening. Heading here. Main base is pretty. Do developed. I liberate this place or take it over? Uh, you know, you could actually uh, take that. Uh, I don't have enough. Uh, stuff. Oh, liberate it then. Yeah, liberate it. 
Okay. Guys, it's time. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose that for sure. Damn it, I was slow on the uptake on my uh, militia. I paid oh, the iron dude, price. Don't, don't stress it, dude. You're doing great. Uh, hold on, let's focus on the lands right here. Okay, so I do not want the water tax. I'm gonna put like literally everything I have to stop that. Yeah. So there's nothing really of super of note in Landsrad. You can just vote on the the positive uh, outcome for yourself though. Uh, authority production. Yeah, yeah. Just do that for your. Got. Yeah, that should be huge to get a little back cap yeah. action. Get you a little. Oh, they have muster at the at my territory. It's time for battle, bro. No mercy. At at Yane, northeast. Mercenaries, warriors, and everything like that. That's fine. How big of an army um, is it? Uh, it's a good size army, actually. Okay. I think you should be able to get there and deal with it. Yeah, they're going in. I have, I have, a, I have a secret weapon in the back pocket. You have militia there? Oh, you got, dude, bro, you have double missile turret and militia. He's not going to get that. No, you're fine. I've deployed my man already. Because the Atreides. And I forgot to leave one back here to actually start doing that liberate shit. The, ah! the Atreides militia are just so strong because of the. Uh, you see, you guys, how all the militia came out at half health? That's because of the uh, the uh, explosive traps I laid in the Undercity. Super nice. Of course, the worm is going to help the Harkonnens. Let's kill the missile turrets. Oh! Okay, so we're fighting the Harkonnen here, guys. It's going decently. Killing all their missile turrets. So we're just gonna do a raid. We're not gonna commit to a, a big fight. We're just gonna like snipe their buildings. Nice. So yeah, you can snipe all the buildings in a region and it's it's very good. Here they are, Conan come. I don't know if they have much more than this. Snipe down those assassin characters in the fields. Yeah, we can actually fight this, I think. I think we have a better army. Are you talking to me? Do you want me to help? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. I'm battling the Harkonnen here. It's a pitched fight versus the, the forces of the Baron, but I think we just have them outnumbered. Oh, get to the base. I just, or, just drop right into this to this place. Are you space brain dropping around the map or Dude, what? Dude, just right into this, like, Battle Brother, steal rain! <laughs> so good, dude. Yeah, worms love snipers because they're always in open field, yeah. Okay, so we got the Harkonnen on the back foot here pretty hard, dude. Nice. So we're Battle brother, is it time for me to relieve you with my sensual lips? I mean, with my support. So here's what we need you to do. You need to attack the um, attack the Fremen and let me know when they have a massive army gathered somewhere. Okay. And just let me know, but don't attack it. Just give me the intel on where it is, okay? Is there any way I can find that out? I, I mean, there's a, there's a some form of an army at Zaluya, blah, blah, blah. How big is it? Treaty ended. The treaty with the smugglers just ended. You can talk to them again to negotiate a new treaty. Hey, we got something going on. That's our first donation of the day. I don't know what the hell it is. Let me take a look at what it was. All right, I'm where's their army at, Ryan? Uh, look at my northeast of my base. That's just, that's just a warrior thing. Uh, Eli with a $35 barbecue the Baron. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> the Baron is being barbecued in your honor. Don't worry. Uh oh, someone said I know what he's planning. I don't like the sound of what you said. No, 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 it's, it's good for our team. It's just bad for them. Uh oh, I thought you, I thought he meant like he knows what the Fremen player is playing. No, 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 oh. no. Do a supply drop here. Okay, looking good. Let's develop the main base a little bit more. Nothing here that's very helpful. Let's run you guys down here. So the Baron's been Shadow Realms a little bit. He's super poor. He's not going to be able to fight back. Um,. Yeah, keep pushing into the Fremen lands. They're going to gather a force at some point to try and stop you. Watch that. And when they do, tell me right away and don't engage them. I'm going to show you the, the true glory of this game. Mm, I can't wait for the Nuka Duke. It's so funny, dude. It's And it, it also destroys the entire region. So, like, any um, any defenses they might have, like, that, all that gets, like, absolutely punished. I can also make atomics right now. Do it. I just realized I've got tons. I've got a thousand missions I've just not been doing anything with. You might not need to do atomics. You can keep your political standing. Okay. 
Do I do ceasefires, defense sabotage, anything like that? Uh, you do can do the, do the uh, civil unrest one. Is that uh, is that crowd manipulation? Yes. Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. Done. What do you want? Hello. You're judge of the council, and I'm speaker of the council. Oh no, that's a vote. So we can vote. Oh, this is big. We need to get you elected to that shit. Yes. Okay, I'm heading Give out. me the gods, battle brother. So as soon as the votes come up here. Come on, I want these wardens. Give me the power. Oh, I'm so close. Uh-oh. My army might get wormed here, guys. The worm, the worm could happen. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, Maintenance center. Uh, what's my... Uh, that's not terrible. Oh, God! Oh, oh God! I hate, dude, I hate looking at those exclamation points as you're just running an open field. Oh, of course. <laughs> Feels bad. Let's get a couple more of you guys. Cool. So the Harkonnen have been karate chopped for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head north and like push this way. Um, we. Oh no! Do not have the max agent increase a yet. Storm. The, the crab manipulation. Yes, that's what Sparty's gonna do. Okay, heading up north. Develop this region. What do we not have here? Let's go ahead and get the uh, intel building. Those are decent to get in the late game. Ah, uh, raiders. Uh, anything I should be making? I mean, I did understand the beauty. I did call to arms. So now you wardens. can just go all the way down your military tree. Just get, like, high command. That'll give you more command points. You can just build a bigger army. Oh, baby, make these fucking wardens. Yeah, man. Exactly. You can build more of them. The Chad Terminators. Have you seen the Fremen gathering a resistance yet? No. Okay, just keep me appraised. No, shit, am I in a command point deficit? I'm in a resource deficit. Okay, let's leave this guy. Oh, I see. Oh, we got a vote. We got a vote. So vote for you for the uh, judge of the council. All vote. Yeah, great. Because if, like, when Atreides get elected, they get, like, big benefits. So you want to, like, elevate you to the to the king's status. Do I want to make my second military building or my second statecraft building right now? Uh, max out statecraft. Okay. If you can. So then I'm going with uh, I'm going with embassy, right? Not uh, administrative hall. Oh, wait, no, administrative hall because of the hedge money and authority production. Yeah, that's really good. You won't find yeah. than us. See this? I'm very desperate to nuke something. It's true. It's the funniest part of this game. It definitely is. Hmm. Has Slanesh? Yeah, we haven't had Slanesh bots today. It's been pretty chill. Yeah, actually, that's a really good point. By the way, if we have any bot, uh, not bots, if we have anyone in stream that could drop a link to Sparty stream, so you guys can see his perspective too. Yeah, if anyone also, uh, are any, any of my moderators here? I don't think they're. Sure, there's there's some. They're lurking. Okay, perfect. Class greet. Oh, we're at a manpower deficit right now, so we need to get some manpower. We'll delete this. Good call. I do too. Yeah, uh, you're, we got places you're in, that can do that too. A little bit low, huh? getting there okay so you oh now that you're the judge of the council ryan when that finishes mm -hmm. you'll notice you're going to be able to train the lands rad guard which are like super elite melee halberd guys they're so sick yeah they're really good okay this can be a uh, i wonder if the harkonnen have a nuke i don't think so i think they're too poor yes. Yes. Let's move. all right we're moving in Let's go, baby. Take these guys down. Harkonnen might try and resist here in a minute. We're not sure if they're going to appear. Oh, I see you. I, here's, his, here's his action right now, guys. Yeah, we're, we're oh, it, this is just like the, the garrison of the city. His actual army, I think, is like holding back. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. So the, oh. More, the more fighting there is, it like the vibrations attract the worms, basically. Mm. So that's how that works. Let's do a supply drop here. And I mean, I, I can, uh, I can't peacefully take that city. Are you shitting me? I can take this one. Ryan, Ryan, look right. at that Northern Territory quick, look. Where? North. Oh, where, yes. Where, where? North where? Uh, Zalula, the one where they were gathering their army. Where? Uh, due north. I, I, I had to do it in a snap decision because their whole army was moving on your base. Where is it? 
Oh, oh, mine, like mine. Okay, Z Zylula. Ah. You didn't say north of my. I was looking at your territory. No, so I, basically what happened was the Fremen had like eight, seven or eight units moving to your territory. I saw him and I just nuked him. I would have, I would have just bombed on him. That would have been look, great. Look, look, it says turn you absolute tyrant. Yeah, because <laughs> it destroys the whole region. So, oh my That's god, that's my cue to push. Yeah, just go. You can probably kill him now, honestly. <laughs> I just That's saw the so Fremen. Funny. You see that thing in the ground? Look in the nuked region. Yeah, the ground pounding. The thumper. You see the thumper? Yeah. That they yeah. were gonna ride a worm and ambush one of our territory. So I saw that and I was like, no, not in, not in our watch, dude. Not today, boy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not today. Buck Hammer. Thank you for the tenor. Greatly appreciate it. And Hadri's dropped a link to Sparty Stream. So guys, head on over there. Give him a, give him a look over on Twitch where he's gonna be streaming these kind of games and uh and yeah join the party see his perspective he's gonna be fighting the fremen now too so you can join the Sparty party you can you can see what's cracking there we got something to do. it was a it was a good nuke because that's like his whole army and it also killed his spice field so it's it's uh it was definitely worth it trust me okay get you going. Harkonnen definitely looking to be in the pits of hell right now. Yeah, we'll get another nuke. Don't worry. There's going to be another nuke or two before the game's over. Roopers. So you just keep steamrolling through. His army should be mostly dead after that nuke. Oh, he has heavy militia here. The house Harkonnen heavy militia. Oh, he's making a missile battery. Yeah, it's, you can steamroll missile batteries. They're not like that strong. They're more of like an early game deterrent. All right, let's liberate this. Then we need to go up here and take this city and just keep sandwiching them in. I wonder if the Thumper can help you dodge a nuke. No, you can't dodge nukes. They're too fast. They're too fast. They they come super quick, which I think is good. It'd be stupid if you could like dodge them. All right, because uh, it's such an expensive investment. I had to pay six thousand for that, which is a ton. Okay, That's the sandworms. Oh, ooh, it spooked me. You getting the the sandworm sweats over there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, let's keep developing this region. The wind here sucks, but we need manpower, so let's do that. So we're just liberating Harkonnen territories right now. Yeah, maybe if they were like riding the worm, like mm, it depends, because what happens is the worm gets summoned and then they like drop in on it, like dropping in on a wave. So Fremen are regathering an army in their uh, in their capital there. Uh, where's their capital? Uh, uh, it's the siege. That's where you want to start working towards. But before you attack the capital, Ryan, take mm -hmm. over a city next to it that you can own and you can like run and heal because the capital shoots like missiles at you and stuff. It's uh, it's it's not not a joke. Yeah. Oh god, they're surrounded by deep desert. Yeah. And I gotta, I can't. Ugh. You're gonna have to. Take I mean, some I could. I could peacefully. You no, know, you, you closest... can get through the choke there, that little like choke point with the big crater. But before you do that, maybe just get a supply drop set up. I would recommend. Yeah, I'm I'm taking these two locations right next to it. Yeah, good, good. Well, not taking. I'm liberating this one and taking the other one. Actually, I probably should have taken this one. Set up here. I don't have authority to do so. No, oh, Harkonnen are attacking you. Oh. Although it looks like your militia might have it handled. I would still go up there oh, and make sure 100%. they don't take it. Yeah. Oh, they're they're dead. Atreides militia are really strong. That's like the whole thing is like, oh, Landsrad's coming up. Uh, vote for yourself for the Water Sellers Union. That will get you another council position, which is gonna just help you a lot. Let's get into the territory here. Damn it, they, they won that one. Okay, so I'll take some units. Oof, I don't have any units I can send. You don't? Uh, airfields. You could just make one real quick, maybe. Like, he's, he only has one guy there. He's losing all of his territories back home, though, too, so it's going to start getting real real ugly. I don't I don't have enough, uh, what's it called, command points to do so. Oh, okay. Not the end of the world. We're going to take hey, that. Hey, another donation here from Garland Green for $10. Thank you, Garland. Dropping a 10 bucker on me, brother. Thank you very much. Oh, he's just pillaging it, so he's not even going to take the city. He's just going to take some money and leave. So that's actually nice for you. Take your money. Mm. Take your doubloons. Yeah, he's, he's getting them, dude. Supply drop. Undercity. 
How are our agents doing? We only, yeah, we don't have the, the five extra agents. Who, who captured? Harkonnen captured some agents? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What up, dog? We got something to do. I almost fucked up. You almost, like, ran into the worm fields or what? I, oh, the supply. supply drop. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful. The, the desert Ooh. is unforgiving, dude. I, well, I liberated and I forgot that that actually meant that, okay, now you can't actually yeah. generate anything from there. Yeah, yeah. Harkonnen have got to be starving. Uh, they still have 900. Fremen have some resources as well. Yeah, maybe we, we finally nuked the worm. Who knows? Look Where? at all the free tech it's researching. I love it. It's so nice. Okay, lose spice, which we have extra, and get let's take the intel. Oh shit, I'm really low on manpower. Yeah, you just like search your regions for like an open spot and just build that, you know, and you're good. Yeah. And uh, we have bad water here. Let's get the intel building. We kill All right, perfect. No, you actually do ride a worm. The worm is ridden. It is. <laughs> That's going to be a long journey, but that'll be right next to their base. All right, so we, we've pushed the Fal Harkonnens out of the north. Uh, Atreides looking mighty strong. Perfect. Do you have, um in your main base, do you have any buildings you can build, by the way? Yeah. You should definitely always, like, you want to max out your statecraft. Do I make region. embassy now? Yeah, yeah embassy's fine. Okay. Max out I your statecraft. I don't know if council, council chamber was like, the important one or not. Yes. They're, they're, they want a council chamber? I don't know what that does off the top of my head. Uh, 30% Lonstrad influence and allows spending influence oh, to yeah. cancel resolutions. Oh, yeah, I get that. That's good. Okay, I need I need Atreides delegations, though, for that. You can work towards that. That's a good call. Okay. Because if you fill up your uh, region with the political buildings, what happens is you can... Um... Sorry, I'm just like looking around. You get Lonstrad uh, reputation per turn, which is really nice. Well, it's going to take me some time to get there, so I might as well make another military building. Should I make the recruitment center? Or yeah, the yeah, yeah, make the recruitment center. Yeah, recruitment center is really good. That'll give you manpower per village you control, which is very strong. Oh, that's going to be a spike. Yeah, that'll just... finally get some lands rad. I don't have any guard yet. Yeah, you can get them soon. You, you, storm you're elected to a couple. Yeah, you're the judge of the council, and you're in charge of the water sellers union. That's fucked. Water sellers union gives you uh, money based on the amount of water you have. So it gives you like a big surplus. I'll put the game on a little, little bit of a faster speed now. I think it's. I think you got the hang of it, man. You're playing very well, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's get you. Harkonnen are looking to defend. You can see they're they're setting up their last bastion here. Remen are marshaling at Haltar, lower right corner of the map for me. Oh dear God. No, Shai Halud. What? The worms almost got my whole army. Oh, I just. Oh my God, that was crazy. Yeah, I would have lost a lot. Can we take this city? Not a bad city, I guess. Wouldn't be terrible. Let's take it. So we'll take over the city real quick, just so we have like a, like a launching platform to attack. Uh, let's go to this city that the Harkonnen set up an undercity there. And by setting up an undercity, what we can do... Are they actually going to attack here? So check this out. The Harkonnen are going to go for my base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poison the reserves. Which will tank. Mm -hmm. You'll notice their supplies are going to drop. So I just poison that region to the north, and their entire army is going to run out of supplies most likely before they can uh, before they can take my base. You can see they're all already empty on supplies. You see it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to fight my militia, but they're not going to. They're going to run out of supplies and die. Oh, dude, that's brutal. That's. A, I just started. Yeah, it's really. They're good. mustering at that lower right place, and I started a rebellion. The rebels, the rebel alliance. Oh, they're just barely going to get it, it looks like. That's tight. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Might have to run over there. Oh. Oh, yeah, they got it. You see, yeah, see now they, they're safe. Although. They're pillaging it. It's fine. I'll just hustle over there. Should be able to make it. Mm, very, very close. And let's get you. We need harvesters inactive. Oh, oh please. I got a big force in that, that location now. Damn. You got a big force? Yeah, lower right corner. Mm, got it. Getting girthy. Okay, I'm not sure where he's going, but that's okay. The militia will pop out and take care of him. 
Uh, resource deficit. What am I in a deficit for? Oh, command points. Okay, I have too many units. All right, let's still eat this guy. He's good, but, you know, we're okay now. We're chilling. And let's take some more intel. Do the Fremen have a big army somewhere that needs to be taken care of? Yeah, lower right corner. Haltar. All right, you ready? Uh, southeast. Are yeah. you watching? Watching it. Watching it. Oh! oh. <laughs> You're tired. That's so You're tired indeed. That's so evil, bro. <laughs> so what do we do? Do we, can I take that? Yeah. No, it's devastated, but you can march past it and just take whatever you want. Like, well, I need to get to his lands. It's like that, that's like the. Do you have a supply drop? Do you have a supply drop? Yeah. So I would fly to your northern territory, fly to Yen, and just head east from there. And go right for his base right now. Yeah, and go take Zylula, and then go for his main base. Well, you you nuked that before already. Yeah, but it's undevastated now. It takes a while, and then you can resettle it. You have to like wait for the radiation or whatever. I love it. Oh my god, that's so funny, dude. The the Fremen were all like happy. They're like, yeah, I got a got a force here, ready dude, to fight. Is, you are a tyrant indeed, my lord. Uh, council vote, Speaker of the Council. Yeah, for you. It's funny. I just like eat oh, this. No. Shit. Oh, we missed it. It's okay. It really doesn't matter. So now you just go deep there, dude. Military military base. And just like stomp in there, dude. Just the the footsteps must be heard. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, just like the anger too, like no, no. <laughs> he, said, he said, "I really don't like you anymore." That's so funny. Can we take this man? Two hundred and thirty-nine for that. Yeah. So we're just gonna rebuild a little bit. Um, I could try and assassinate someone. I think at this point, though, we just go for a domination victory. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. So, liberate that city. Or take that city over, actually, if you can. Do you yeah, have enough? Yeah, done. Yep. Because then you can build a military base and missile turrets, and you can siege his capital from there. Raid detected. Oh, I got plenty of shit there. Okay, let's get poison reserves ready. Let's get some more units. Uh, that's four command points for that. Let's get some wreckers. Some home wreckers. And uh, what else do we need? Fuel cells are always good. Developed. Let's just go through our regions, make sure everything is like built. Usually I just spam the intel buildings in the late game so I can just nuke people more. And Tyrant, I love it. Do you love Do you love the villainous cackling? That's my favorite. It's so funny. It's my favorite so funny. thing in this game. Uh, Political audit. Oh, what is that? Uh, Grant's 30 land shred standing. Oh yeah, is that coming up soon? I mean, I can do it. It's a, it's a. Oh yeah, yeah, thing. that's a, yeah, that's actually. What's your landsrad standing though? Four sixty. Uh, yeah, you're fine. You don't need to do it. You're basically maxed out. So. Mission complication, crab manipulation. There are some complications with the missions. You need to make a choice. Yeah. So when that happens, you um, you basically um, let's see. Chance of agent capture when an operation is launched. Chance of agent capture when an operation is launched. Can't point deficit again. Yeah, fine. Done. Yeah, it, like some uh, harder missions, they have like complications and you have to like make a choice about how to approach it. It's kind of like how there's predicaments in, uh, in, in what's it called? What's that game you play? The the Kingdom Simulator? Uh, Crusader Kings. Uh, yes, yes. Simple offering of earth and water. Yeah, it's like, how do you want to approach this kind of thing? Uh, what do we want to build here? We have these. Yes, more Dune. Dude, this game's been pretty memey. It's been it's been quite fun. Um M -m 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 -m. Uh, what is this? House Harkonnen. I'm getting attacked. Where? Oh, no, no, no. Where? They're, are they trying to trade with you I'm or not, something? I'm not, I'm not. It's a raider. It's a raider. Okay, sounds good. Ryan, I come to join you. Come. Um, <laughs> so brother, I, I am here. <laughs> Operation Steel Rain. We will crush the Fremen once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I don't lose supplies in your territory. That would actually be kind of annoying. Does supply drop apply to you? I've got it all. No, I don't think I, I think I'll be okay. Let me see what happens when I'm in your territory. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, it's an allied territory, so we're fine. Okay, I have 500 land shred and it's red. Does that matter? No, it means you're maxed out. So good. it's a good, it's a good problem to have. Crowd manipulation. Do you I have one? Do yeah. Do it in the Harkonnens. Uh, do it in the Southern Harkonnen territories. Uh, anyone specific? Uh, the one that's generating them gold. Because then they'll have to go deal with yeah, that. Ed, which... Ed Gunnan. Yeah, do that. Um, so there's a vote coming up. I'm going to vote for myself for the Landsrad. Vote for me for Landsrad okay. support. Okay. 
That'll give me some extra shit. Oh, the Fremen are coming to fight. Oh, no, oh. they're not. Come on. This is a trick. No, they just want to die in the darkness. Fight, fight. Kill them all. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a massacre, bro. My army was stealth, so I don't think they knew I was here. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that <laughs> that was good. Let's go to the main base. Um, Can you research the defense sabotage thing? Uh, gear sabotage? Yeah, I've got no, it not gear active. sabotage. Defense sabotage. It's uh, it, it makes the main base more vulnerable. Yep, got it. Cool. Let's go attack the main base now. Okay. It is time. No mercy. I am. I am. You bring up the rear. You go ahead. Harkonnens are over here. I can see them. Oh, where? Uh, they're just trying to. They're dealing with the thing you created. So they, yeah, they're like, cool. yeah, so this is good. So now we're just like jumping the his ally. So I do defense sabotage when yeah. I can? Yeah, do it on the main base. <laughs> the Fremen are, are, are out of it after so much radiation, indeed. So you see how much the base is getting chunked now? Normally yeah. it takes a long ass time. Uh, I'll do a supply drop. Let's see if it affects your units. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah. supply drop That's actually sick. helps friendly units. That's pretty sweet. So you're just dicking them dirty. <laughs> giving, them, giving them the dirty. Give them the business, brother. Oh, stay here. Stay at the base. There's a worm here. Oh, God. It's trapped us. Fine. It's right. supposed to be like this. So now we just need to... All right, Ryan. Go ahead and research atomics. It's time. It is time. <laughs> it's just time, brother. I can't. You can't? Missing resources. I need 600 more intel. How much do you have right now? 153. Bribes for the Atreides and Smugglers Alliance. Crush your enemies. We are, we're trying to. It's been a good scrap so far. Just a lonely baron, said Max. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, I got an idea. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back cap. Uh, yeah, and fly your whole army over. Yes, dude, do it, do it. Actually, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, bird bud, bird, bird dud, because it's, uh, it's <laughs> bird, joining. You mean bird dad, as we call it? Yeah, yeah, birdie daddy. The, the dreaded bird. And it's dad. right next to your territory too. Oh, oh yeah. So that's like only the Atreides can pull tricks like that, which is really cool. Oh no no! Don't get wormed, bro. No oh. supply. Oh, you should be safe now that you're in your territory. Yeah. I, I already used supply drop because I'm an idiot. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It happens. I, I just forget that it's like, oh, we've killed a place. No big deal. Like, no, you got to move your units. Yeah. Um. So what we need here actually is probably not this, but an airfield. Let's get an airfield set up. Perfect. Those nukes. Disco King says those nukes were unreal. <laughs> He's in chat. Yeah. GG, man. It's, it takes some getting used to, for sure. It is delightful. <laughs> Disco, did you and Max Benjamin jump in voice chat, by the way? Now, the Harkon you can usually tell someone's going to nuke you based on the money they have. He's too poor to nuke, so... He's more, too poor. We more or less know it's not coming. Uh, he's done a good job bouncing back, though. Ryan, you see, you see that... Uh, yeah, we'll hang tight, actually. We'll hang tight. Uh, the, the mass of army going up at Gunnan, that one? Uh, yeah. I, I'm oh, Man, I'm so tempted to just nuke that right now. Oh, my God. Got another thing. Carthage is... What's up, dude? Carthage is making units. They got some gunners going there. Oh, with the capital, yeah. Oh, that's right. I can, yeah. I can build Undercity in his capital. I keep forgetting I can do that. Oh. Let's do um, allied, milits, milit allied units gain military strength in his region. Yeah, so smugglers can build undercity uh, buildings and people's capitals too. Once you get to 10k hegemony. Yeah, you guys are in Discord. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does Kodiak. You have to you have to have a fully developed um, uh, statecraft region, or else nuking will actually uh, really hurt you. Okay, let's do this, and we don't really care about that. All right, Ryan, I'm going to start the invasion. Join okay, me when I'm, you're uh, ready. I'm almost done with bird dead. Sounds good. No rush. We, we'll have time. Oh. Okay, you see the delightful. Harkonnen in the south there? You see him? Watch. Uh, oh, at my base? At the uh, yeah. gunnin? Yeah. yeah, you see him? Oh. 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 <laughs> you are a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> I love the maniacal laughter after. Like, nah, I'm not into <laughs> And dude, I'm I'm basically role playing the Harkonnen against the Harkonnen. It's like, oh my did, god, that's... Did they just nuke everyone. Is it like they're is that well, their no, but they would do that shit. 
Like, like just like not care and like go yeah, for it. If they were desperate. In the books, the Hark like even the Harkonnen aren't that because in the actual Dune universe, if you like nuke someone, everything declares war on you. Like the Emperor will come for you, like everything. It's like mm-hmm. a big no no, but um But yeah. I haven't even been able to drink water. I've just been like playing so hard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good, dude. So we're in Mortal Kombat with them here. They might actually fend us off. We'll see. Gear sabotage. Uh no, this isn't zero. Uh Turn and I are playing together against two people that we he knows. Yeah. Uh, council's up. Good, Anakin, good. I'm taking over a city here. Join me when you can. Uh, I guess I'll buy the council. Should I vote for myself for that? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. That gives you two agents for free that have a special trait, which is really nice. Good, Anakin. I'm done. So when you voted for the Landsrad guard for me, it gave me a pretty big military spike that allowed me to push him here. Yes, yeah, good. And that's I'm... like the thing with you is like you can vote to help me, and I like that's what's so powerful about Atreides. I'm about to bring the steel rain, brother. Yeah, are you coming? Okay. The shuttles are just about ready to go. Oh yeah, so you're gonna land it, bird dude. Oh sweet. Okay, so you're gonna be the eye of the council soon. So like the way we're playing is we we have like a couple different like victory conditions, right? Or should I try a drop? Yeah, do it. Come come join me. All right. Join I'm me, join, brother. I'm, I'm at the tip of my, like, thing. You shall be the tip <laughs> of the spear. The tip, battle brother. All right. Uh, the, the sound goes off when uh, you play on a higher game speed. It just, like, plays the music only. Look, there's there's Sparty's troops flying in over me. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm dropped. Good, dude. I'm building an airfield here, too. Oh, should I not attack? No attack. Go attack. Back? It's time, dude. It's Gotham's Reckoning. Well, our, our forces combined stand at the ready. But just kill the army first. Yes. No mercy. It's like the reverse of the movie. It's like the Harkonnens getting like 2v1'd. Um, don't yeah, forget yeah. to supply drop yourself. Yeah. Oh, God. The worms. Okay. No, just, the worm. Just get, get on top of the base and you're safe. All right. Uh, do you have a base defense by chance? I I was trying to get it. I didn't have enough. Uh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, you need to work on it. Okay, let's get some militia here. Get some heavies. You notice how like uh, I'll go kill that missile turret real quick. The one shooting us. Yeah, it's so taking so much longer. That you're gonna say? I can't remember. My brain just can't can't think about that many things at once. I have an undercity that can actually make it take more damage. Two. Man, this thing is just absorbing it, tanking yeah, those well, hits. Yeah, well, he he has the enhanced fortification upgrade. Look, he used the ceasefire against us, so we can't attack it. Just attack this. Uh... Wait, does it affect this region too? Yeah, attack yeah, I this think region. it's the whole entire thing. No, it's just the it's just that region. So we can attack this base here. Okay. Harvester is being deployed. Let's get a supply drop going. Uh, hey. Excellent early map for this game. Uh, any news on an early access roadmap for this game? Yeah, they, Maybe they already when a full put one version out. will be released. Yeah, they put it up on the thing, huh? Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, I saw like it. A... Okay, we can attack the main base again. Let's go. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, supply drop. Do it. Do it. If you if you can, I can't. Oh, I have one coming up soon. It's gonna be a little tight, but it should be okay. Hey, GG. All right. Well played. What is that was that was a that was a match, wasn't it? That was wild as shit. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, you picked it up pretty quick, man. You know, a lot of people take a lot of time to learn this, but you did really well. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of just like a lot of like... A lot of like the same stuff. Yeah. That you get from a lot of other strategy games that are similar to it. A lot of macro um, management. And, you know. Yeah. But it, the game does such a good job of like notifying you of things that are happening that it's so easy to just like, okay, bap, 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 bap. Oh, yeah. You can just jump into stuff. Like there's so many good unobtrusive notifications that I love it. Oh yeah, man. It's a blast. And the team element of it is really fun. Like 2v2 shenanigans, like when we coordinated these attacks, like you fly in and then like I came to help you and we like, I nuked him and then you just like steamrolled through his lands after. Like there's, yeah. there's lots of like cool little synergies and combos that you can do for sure. Yeah, I, I love it. Like Ryan, look to, I, the, I, look to the north, huh? you see that territory? Which one? Uh, Talonim. Uh, no. To the northwest of his main base. Okay, yeah. See it? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just the steel rain. Just destroys everything. Dude. Unnecessary nuking. So you can nuke main bases too, and it does a lot of damage, but um, 
It, it, like, it takes five or six nukes to kill a main base. So it's, like, not super easy. Oh, okay. You also cannot repair main bases. It's something to uh, take into account. <clears throat> yeah, when is the, when's the new faction coming out? I know, in sometime in the fall, I think. So probably in, like, two or three months. I would wager. Like, I honestly, there's, there's a lot of depth to the existing factions. They all play really differently. Um, and have their own unique mechanics and stuff, so. GG. Dude, that was great. That was so fucking fun. Isn't that fun? That's so good. Mm-hmm. You see, like, I kind of, like, poo-pooed this game to begin with because I was like, uh, it just kind of, like, I watching you play, it looks just like humankind, but I thought it was fought on a grid. I didn't know it was, like, like, RTS style. Yeah. So it's it's really cool to, to, to like, hold on, wait, I just start recording? Yeah, stop <laughs> recording. Idiot. Um, You're all good, man. It's just kind of cool to see, like, that it's, like, more, like, conventional RTS style. It, it reminds me of Total Annihilation. Did you ever play that game? Yeah, on? that's an old, old one, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Like, it reminds me of Total Annihilation. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a blast, dude. Anytime you want to play, just hit me up, and uh, and we can do uh, we can do 2v2s. Next time, we'll do an FFA. I think I think you're, like, good enough at the game now that, like, you've, 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 ma like, you're honestly very solid. So, we can do a four-player game, and, and it's, dude, it, it's crazy. Because, like, if somebody becomes a tyrant, you know, you just, like, 3v1 them. It's it's so funny. And then, like, the one person is just getting Palpatine and, like, beaten down, and it's it's so good. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely think I'm going to play more of this, and, like, I'll stream it, and I'll probably make some, game, uh, some like, guides on yeah, like, how to should. play, stuff like that. Well, especially with the movies coming out. into this cookie jar. The movie's coming out, too. Like, there's there's going to be more interest in the Dune stuff as well. When, yeah, uh, when, when did, do we know when the next yeah, one's coming? 20, thought... 2023, I think September, October. Like, oh. So, like, late next year, which isn't, you know, it, it's like a, a little more than a year from now. So. Someone said, I think you might be good enough to end Turin's undefeated streak if you play some FFA with him. No, dude, he's just going to be the tyrant of the, the nuke tyrant. Well, but, like, what's really cool about Atreides, man, is, like, you can do those, like, back to, like, if somebody has their entire, like, border... Hey, GG guys! Thank you, thank you too for playing. By the way, that was that was a lot of fun. Max Ben and uh, and Disco King. We'll be doing another game today too, so just stay tuned for that in uh, in just a minute. I don't know because you have to go somewhere at like two, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to stick around. For yeah, a you probably whole wouldn't have time one? for another one then. But we're gonna do another one here, so uh, feel free to join the lobby, guys. But like, so if you're in a game, you're in like a deadlock border war with someone with Atreides, like missile turrets, military bases, like you just can't really get past it. What's cool about Atreides is you have two alternate win conditions, which are really good. You you can back you can steal a base in the back of their territory and fly your army in and just like ravage their lands, or you can um, or you can uh, uh, just go for like politics and just like become elected as the governor and then just win that way and force them to like attack you. It's really really cool. I just I love that. I love the like um, I just love the fact that like like had the Fremen not completely captured up that back region, I would have just yeah popped in the back and done the same thing mm -hmm. like just backdoor action is so fun like oh oh it's so cool <laughs> yeah the game the game is turbo fun man it's it's like and so you've like you've experienced the atreides you kind of know like what their tricks are like right like when you find your way to the harkonnen you're gonna love them they're just like th their military is so brutal and like the play style is just so resource heavy you so what you do is you have this mechanic where you oppress your own cities. So you find a city that's producing a lot of resources for you and you click the oppression button and it like increases it by 200% for like a long time. Oh, damn. Yeah, but it costs manpower and like there's a chance they'll rebel, but then you just crush the rebellion and you actually get a reward for killing your own rebels. So it's like... Oh, even better. Yeah, they're they're really cool, man. It's The Fremen are the hardest to play, hands down. Um, really I cool. would definitely do probably a Harkonnen next to try to check, check them out because I yeah. like that. Atreides like and Harkonnen, military. they share a lot of, of play style. Like, their militaries are very similar in function. They both have, like, cannon units and, like, pretty decent infantry. And uh, they also both have defensive technologies. Harkonnen, Harkonnen can get double missile turrets, too. And, like, so you can do all that oh. same kind of stuff. Oh, I like the sound of that, brother. <laughs> yeah. Super fun, man. Well, let me know when you want to play again, dude. Anytime. We can we can fire this up late at night, whatever. You just uh, You just say when. Yeah, uh, definitely, guys, head on over to Turin's channel. Check him out. You can find a link to that in the... Uh, if you look at the, the title, you'll see with Turin, but here is an actual link to Turin's channel if you've never been there, which I imagine you have because we have an overlap of viewers. You're on You're on Twitch, right? You're streaming on Twitch? Nope, I'm on uh, YouTube right you're now. You're on YouTube right now? Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I figured, fuck it. Do um, but, do it. Uh, oh, I'm really waiting for, like, Dark Tide to go heavy in the paint on Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, Dark Tide. Uh, well, because that'll have thing. integrations, right? Like I know those, like Vermintide has, yeah. has things where you can 
You Dude, can. just fuck with the players. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, do you want to spawn like a health potion or do you want to spawn a super hard boss enemy for him? It's that's really cool. I like that. That's, that's actually very fun. I love that, dude. Like, are you gonna get Dark Tide? I'll try. It. I'll play it with you. I, I play a couple games. I don't know how it'll work on your hands, but it is a lot of clicking. Yeah. No, I'd be fine for it. I, my hands are quite a bit better than they used to be. So. Oh, okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Well, Turin, thank you, guys. Please go and check Turin stream out. He's gonna keep playing Dune. Um, I would play another match, but it's gonna probably take a. We're looking at probably about two hours for another match or so, right? Yeah, it's about two hours. We're gonna do one more here on. Uh, on this side though so we're gonna get get some folks and play and you know have some fun so hey guys so please go check him out thank you dude i will talk to you uh later dude all right ggs later man all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed that now it's time for another game um so anybody who's welcome to join can uh so i'll play fremen this time well you guys can vote actually i'll put it to a vote uh so faction fremen smugglers uh, Atreides, or Harkonnen. Harkonnen, I think is how you spell it. With two ends? Can't remember. We played with players that time. That was me and Sparty versus two other players, yeah. Fremen are my worst, hands down. I've only played like one or two games. Well, probably like two games as them, and I really don't know their stuff very well. So. so. Yes. Come join the party. Let me know who you guys want. Oh my god, really? 80? You guys don't want to see any nukes, though. Okay. Because Fremen cannot nuke, just a heads up. Disco King says Turin should be never be allowed to have nukes again. Well, everyone can have them. All right, outstanding. And uh, let's get this party started. Cool. Oh my god, you guys really want the Fremen. Alright, so, let's get this up. You guys want to see me suffer? You want to see me get nuked for once? Okay. Uh, turn game. I wonder how I win with Fremen. I guess just military. Expansionism. So anyone's welcome to join. Uh, one sec here. Very cool. And we got one more spot. So, we'll play on a large map. Uh, all the standard conditions will be available. Fremen are weird. I was confused. Yeah, Disco King, they're the hardest one to play. But I can I can show you some Fremen tricks here. I can show you some Fremen tricks. They're they're very difficult, but um, I, I've kind of figured out a couple small things. All right, so we will do Shani. Intel per adjacent neutral region. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do Stilgar gives you authority per spice field. That's really nice, actually. And then Mother Ramalo gives you the Shai Hulu Temple for free and reveals all the spice fields. Okay. So no teams. We're going to do a proper free-for-all this time. Yeah. All right. So let's fire this bad boy up. Good luck. Have fun. It looks like everybody is ready. I think. All right. Hadri's doing his final uh, settings here. You guys ready to see me get nuked? It's time. Yeah, nukes are very strong with regenerating lands red. That's like the best combo. But um, even without regenerating lands red, it's not that big of a deal for people like smugglers. It's just like your base gets attacked by lands red guard, but you just park a couple units with missile turrets there, and it really doesn't matter um, too much, at least in my experience. Nukes are not like an easy thing, though, guys. Like a lot of a lot of folks are kind of given the inclination that it's like easy to get them. It's not. Like my economy and everything else was just so much stronger. That's why I was able to afford it. And it's just because I played this game, like, 100 of these games. Ex except with the Fremen, of course. Fremen, I think you just need to go for Big Spice. Because they don't have uh, energy markets. So, we'll see. Major Moolah, yeah. Sparty and I played a 2v2. Yeah, Chani's not bad. We're going to go for the Spice. Oh, man. Kind of strained my knee the other day. I was doing a little exercise, man. And I have a standing desk, too, so it's, like, extra punishment. All right, so let's make some warriors. Oh, wow, we have... Wow, okay, that's pretty good. A lot of spice fields. Uh, what can we make? Let's make a skirmisher as well. Gunhound going in for the kill on those. Very nice. So the early game, we usually play at higher speeds. Hey, you too. Good luck, have fun. But this one actually kind of sucks, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of went the wrong way. Uh, probably should just check this one out instead. Yeah, I screwed up in the beginning. Hopefully I don't miss my first spice tax. With Fremen, you really don't want to miss it because the authority is so nice. So the reason why you're not hearing like game sounds is because of the, uh, oh my God. It's, I kind of got like cra a crappy starting region here. Okay. So we need to explore that. Move up and get it. Can we make a warrior? No, we don't have enough manpower. Let's go, get it. Retrofitted Ornithopter, go, go. So we have our, our Skirmisher here, dropping some bows. Let's pull that guy back. Get the aggro onto the melee guy, and then we just uh, we do this. Auto recon on the other one. It's on. Hey, Ali, no worries. We're gonna we're gonna do more Spice Force streams. I, I really enjoy this game. It's super fun. You'll hear some more villainous cackling here. I can assure you. Okay, so with Fremen, uh, selling spice is the best way to get rich, in my experience. And I'll show you the tech tree once we get there. All right, so let's get the... What's also really cool about Fremen is you don't need to worry about... Um, so let's get local dialect studies. You don't need to worry about sandworms because they can't eat your harvesters because they have like a tent instead. Right, let's get the militia set up here. Fremen can raid villages though, which is which is quite nice. Yeah, you'll see they build uh, spice collectors. Let the spice flow. We're just like already in the red financially. I love it. Okay. Uh, do we have enough for this region? We do. Let's go ahead and take that. Move in. Oh, one of our guys getting a little bit beat up because I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, I can't build nukes this game, guys. So no more will I be the nuclear tyrant. I think smugglers are my favorite to play. You know, at first I wasn't like a big fan of them. I was kind of like, I don't know, it didn't really click with me super well. But the more I played, man, they're uh, they're very fun. So we'll take this region over. Uh, yeah, no, some of the people I think playing are from the EU. Yeah, you should be able to see it. So you see the Fremen just set up a tent, which is super nice. And they also get more authority than like everybody else. Okay, how long do I have? 14 days on that? All right, do we have any special events around the map? What does this give us? This gives us... So let's go grab that. The Ornithopters, you can go look for like special events laying around. All right, Plascrete and uh, get some Militia. Now I'm basically broke. Let's go Spreading the Faith. So this is my favorite technology with the Fremen. It's called Spreading the Faith. You get two gold for each neutral region on the map. And whenever you liberate an enemy village, you get a uh, thousand gold. So that's like really, Fremen are supposed to play like really aggressive and do that essentially. All right, cool. So we're going to see what we can scavenge here. Getting those militias set up in all of our regions. And resolve that. Is there any other like gold laying around that I can scavenge? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, all good. So we'll take this spice field next. Going to have to build some water. Unfortunately, none of my... We have a lot of deep desert around us. Yeah, smugglers are great, Disco King. Uh, they are very fun. Let's build that. Maybe an agent. You always want to go Arrakis first. It gives you authority to expand. And what do we got here? Yes, the composite materials is a good upgrade. And then we can get the extractor here soon-ish. Yeah, Shaihulu Temple gives you 20% resource in ally villages in the region and its neighbors, which is really cool. So you can like build that here and then it'll like influence that region too. Uh, manpower costs quite a bit in upkeep, so let's just get some water here for now. Seems okay. So we'll go here, then we go agents, and then we go for the spice. The spice. The Fremen have the best spice technology. They they just like are the lords of spice. Okay, so we don't have enough water for that quite yet. So we'll almost have enough. Get a second spice field early is very good. Hey, you're welcome, Lau. Oh god, the Slanesh bots are here. I knew they would come eventually. There was we can only escape them for so long. Hmm. So where are we? Wow, we're on the north. No, we're on the east of the map. Somebody is probably up here. Wow, we're. Got to be careful about our expansion trajectories. All right, so we don't have energy markets. Remember this. And uh, are we going to expand this way? Let's go ahead and get the Shaihulu Temple for some more resources. Let's take on these raiders. The Fremen seem to always have an excess of, uh, of, of resources, in my experience. Okay, so yeah, we're in the red financially. We have to make sure we pay our first, uh, our first tax. So that's why I'm kind of like hoarding the spice. Get you. 
Uh, resource. Want the hegemony building to start building on that towards a hegemony victory. Probably not a terrible idea. Although I think it has a bit of an upkeep cost, so maybe we just hang tight. I could raid villages. Let's go down here and raid. Yeah, we're pretty poor with the Fremen. But once uh, once the uh, the faith building finishes, we can we can get get the finances going. All right, we have enough to pay our spice tax, so now we can start selling spice. So you notice how like with Fremen, you have to really manage your spice bar a lot compared to the other factions. What is the upkeep on this? Ooh, 20. 20, that's really rough, actually. Uh, this is 14 for manpower, which we will need, so might as well start on that as much as I don't want to. Although, you know what? Let's cancel that for now. We have to be much more like frugal with everything. How much do we have here? Yeah, okay. So we're going to need another troop to actually get that field, so we'll build this skirmisher. There's three guys guarding that. So how is the spice doing? We paid our first spice tax. We have another agent. Let's put the agent in the chome to help our economy a little bit. Sparty played in the first game. Yeah, he, he's gone now. He, he, he could only play for a little while today. The change of portfolios, yeah, basically. We see the smugglers here. I'm sure there's gonna be some shenanigans. With Fremen, you have to be kind of aggressive in my experience. Um, all right, so we got another smuggler or another, uh, what's it called, skirmisher, yes. Manpower is in, in the red, but it won't be for long. Man, do we want to get knowledge here? We have the Shaihalu Temple. Uh, you know what? That wouldn't be terrible. Help us tack a little bit quicker? Sure, why not? All right, heading over to get this. The processing plant is done. Then we'll get a Shaihalu Temple here in the next building. Sparty, yeah, we played the previous game. So you can you can, uh, you can can rewind now and check that out if you want to. I'm going to take the Spice Fields. All right, so let's see if we can get through these units. Yeah, the Fremen actually have really good fighting units. They certainly do. All right, usually you would want to dive the range units, but I didn't want to leave my skirmishers unprotected there, so that is why we did it like so. All right, so understanding the beauty or spreading the faith is coming. That's the good stuff right there. So knowledge, and then what we'll do in this region is build the, um, the manpower building. Yeah, Sparty and I had a really fun 2v2. It was it was a good scrap. Man, that deep desert is such a meme. Oh my god. So, manpower. We're going to need the recruitment center. It's kind of funny imagining Fremen with like a recruitment center. Ooh, that was not a good idea, actually. Because we're going to go into a manpower deficit, so we need to cancel this. Yeah. All right, so Fremen are pretty bad in Landsrad. Um, water tax. Yeah, nobody likes the water tax, so I'm just going to vote against that. Hmm. So we got this. Let's get the Shaihalu Temple. That's going to give us increased resource production into the Spice Field as well. Unfortunately, there's not too many like adjacent regions. You know what? Maybe it's actually better if we cancel this for now and build the Shaihalu Temple here. What can we build here instead? Yeah, because we're going to expand this way. We'll probably take both these regions. So building all of our uh, our cooldown stuff here is going to be nice. Let's get this. That's going to finish. We can expand once again. Fremen again can just go crazy on the expansion. Yeah, man, these are these are strong territories, though. We need to get another unit. So we'll just go raid raid that. Can we even win that fight? I don't know. Okay, so not much we could do there. And here we're okay on Plascrete. But, man, I still think we need it. What do you guys? We must consult a professional for answers. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's actually kind of a hard city to take here. Pretty strong. Though we might still be able to get it. We'll see. Trying to peel here. The mili the defen defensive militia aren't super strong. Thankfully, Fremen fighters are very good. Okay, so drag them down. And I think we just pillage this city. Take some money. A little Fremen raid. And then we'll come and uh, go for this big boy. This is a special region that gives us... Ooh, building upkeep is way cheaper here. That's really nice, actually. We got a raid coming this way, too. Spreading the faith, you're going to see we're going to get a pretty sizable boost in income. Oh, we got to get away. Oh my god, those stupid worm! I thought I was going to make it. Oh, that's such a setback. Okay, we just need to get warriors then. And look, right as they get to my village too, that actually might cost me this village, which is going to be absolute shit. That'll set me back pretty hard. Okay, that's really bad timing. All right, warrior. Let's get you. And let's get another warrior. 
Oh, uh, I thought I would make it. Usually when you get close to the like cliffs like this, it um you're fine. Like the worms don't get you, but I just got karate chopped there so hard, guys. Oh my goodness. Come on. Go save the city. And uh, we can just get a... Yeah, another one of you. Dude, I just got wormed in the face. I deserve that for all the nukes last game. I definitely deserve it. Well, at least our city is safe. Man, that worm like was so fast and furious. But Fremen get a bonus to their uh, authority. It's, which is, you know, so you can expand really aggressively with them. Okay, looking sweet. Yeah, Shai Hulu taketh, he does. I was about to build some militia there too. She didn't get around to it. All right, so maybe do we just expand for that special region? We have two spice fields at the moment. This one's going to be developed here in just a second. Let's get the spice building. We take this which I believe has four in it, so we're going to need more troops. Diplomatic Congress. Uh, somebody voted on punishing me there. So 10 water for 20 Solari. Let's do that. We need to get a region with, like, high wind. Yeah, honestly, like, none of our regions really have it. So after this, we build the Shai Hulu Temple and the Maintenance Center, and that will uh, give us a pretty good stretch. And then the Polar Ice Caps are right here. We could just take that for water. Oh, wait, no. Fremen can't build that water building. Shit. There's like so many nice things the Fremen just can't have. Okay. Tech is coming along. Slowly. Agents are just so turbo useful. So we're doing okay financially. We're trading with the Siege. Fremen also ally Sieges without having to send an Emissary, which is really nice. Alright, so we're on the shooting units. Hopefully we can win this fight. Let's run around the back and... Split the damage up so it's not quite as bad. Alright, let's get the range unit. Looks like we win that. A little bit shady to say the least. But we get it. Okay, spice tax has been paid. Do we have anything here? We can gain the Solari. Very good. What do we want to build? Shai Hulu Temple here. And then we build the maintenance center to get the cost reduction. Take over the special region. Hegemony is another way we can try and win. Pone, we you said you would be back at, at 12.30 my time. And you were, you were, I messaged you. Pone abandoned us. Don't be don't listen to his tricks. Alright, so get you. We have 2k hegemony now, so we need to go to our main base and builds. We just need more plascrete. Yeah, and we'll build the research center. Great. Resolve. Head up. So far so good. Yeah, a lot of deep desert. The way our like base is set up is very, very strange. We have another uh, hegemony region up there, but I think we're fine there. Yeah, we're doing an FFA this game. I messaged you, Pone. You ignored me. You left me in the shadows. Uh, labor rights, manpower upkeep. How about no? So, like we, the Fremen have like no political say. Really doesn't matter too much. And then we get a maintenance center here and we're chilling. So we're going to take this region and then go get the... Ooh, that's a really nice one. The Spice Fields over there. Prime time. It does have four defenders, though. Uh, does this game have good... I'm off at 1230 or champ. Yeah, yeah. No, that's when I messaged you, Pwn. Uh, Water here. Anything else of note? Not really. That's going to be like a forward base. All right, so let's get the Knowledge Building. You always want to rush this one, the Research Center. It's really good get the Solari income as well. So you can see our income is like pretty decent, honestly. And as we get more and more spice going. Okay. We have manpower. We are very, very tight on water at the moment though. Hmm. How can I fix that? I'm gonna have to build water somewhere. There's like literally one water in this region, so it just sucks. It'll give us like two, which is just pitiful. And we do need manpower though. Let's get that. Mm, do we have one there? We have one here. We have one here. What is our water upkeep? Our armies and the siege trade. Oh my god. Oh, that's right. The siege trade is costing us quite a bit. So we can cancel the siege trading for now to get some water back. And then we can just start trading with them when we're, when we're ready. Here we go. If this game goes fast pwned, we can even do another one. So We, we do not know how it's going to go, though. 
Okay, so clearing that out. And then we can go ahead and grab a maintenance center over here. Once we have enough, the building slots there are very, very pricey. Clear through the scraps, take this, go to the spice field, get these two settlements. Oh yeah, good water here. And plus they're also protected by deep desert, it looks like. So that's very strong. We can put additional uh, crews in our spice harvesters to get a little bit more spice gathering. And then we just keep pushing this way. Should be able to take that. Yeah. Hold on, let's go for the spice field first. I think that'll be better. Blast greet. Militia. Main buildings. We can't build anything right now. You need to give turn time at least. You'll be. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. I am learning the ways of the Fremen, but so far I really enjoy them. They're very fun to play. Uh, the, wor the worming that you can do is very, very gnarly. Oh, do we have militia here? Yeah, it's always a good instinct to just build militia everywhere. Okay, let's go get the spice production. Raid should be thwarted by our militia there. And here, let's do this. Get a fat, juicy maintenance center. That will reduce the upkeep of like all the resources there by quite a bit. Got to make sure we don't run into the deep desert. Okay. Heading this way. Perfect. I think we can win this. There are four of them there, which is a little bit scary, but... Fremen warriors uh, are quite good. They debuff whoever they attack, so... We'll just, like reset the aggro there and... Good. All right. No problems. Uh, do we want a Shai Hulu temple here? This is actually a good spot for it, yeah. Although, do we have one here? We do. So we can delete the Shai Hulu temple here, set it up here, and it, it should hit all the nearby regions. Great. And we can build something else here. Manpower building, sure, why not? So yeah, we're getting that big expansion. The Fremen, you know, we get the agent, and then we just go straight down for the spice tech. Although, Lay of the Land is probably good too. Mm, man, there's so many choices. So many choices for us Fremen. Spice collectors. Crew. You know what's great too is I don't have to worry about like getting wormed. Let's actually cancel this and build the... We need water, like stat. So let's get the water buildings here. This region requires water, so we'll go take that over. Dude, look how quick you can expand his Fremen. It's pretty crazy. It's way faster than the other uh, factions. Alright, so let's just head down the spice tech. So what all this does is these give you extra crew members and they also give you like better exchange rates on the spice. On the old spice market. Lance Chad. Uh, hmm. We can vote on the economy research tech. I did lose a unit while I was looking at that tab. Lovely. Not a huge deal as we're somewhat wealthy now. Intelligence agency will give us the extra agents, which of course we love. When is the next ever chosen style tourney? Uh, the summer championships are going to happen sometime in August. Got to check in with CA about that. Uh, no water here. We want the maintenance center in this region. Yeah, that's prime. And now we can do the spice harvesters. We're rolling in it, man. It's, it's, it's pretty pretty productive here. Oh my god, and we have a, a special spice field down here. It does require 161, which is a lot. So who's playing who? We have uh, Warista on the smugglers, and Vlad and Parappa, and then we have Hadris on the uh, Atreides. Hmm. The Atreides. It cometh. Uh, this has a processing plant. Very good. Let's get that. Get some militia here. Yeah, this spice field is a special one, which is going to be very good for us. Cool. Let's get a couple warriors. 174 to get that. Okay, so I think we've expanded pretty well. We can go start trying to give people a little worm action, although getting up our spice economy before we go to war, I think is going to be better because... The tech I have, which is the uh, spreading the faith, becomes worse as the game goes on because there's less neutral territories. So you need to uh, you need to be liberating and doing all that sort of good stuff. So spice silos right here would actually be good. It would hit both those regions. Plaskreet. And uh, Spacing Guild. Fremen can do assassination. You have the Desert Shadows, which makes your agents uh, a little bit resilient to being captured. So it's pretty cool. Let's gather here. And we can do the spice silos, which will hit both these spice regions. 
Spice silos here could be good too, but I think this is fine because this is a, a, an even better spice region. You got me buying this game? It's really fun. Yeah, just make sure you got some folks to play with because, you know, it's uh, it's way better that way. Um, we'll do a missile turret here. That's like a very vulnerable border position for us, so let's just get a missile turret set up. All right, so this is about to finish. Let's buy another spot here. Do we want to go worm a little bit? Could go worm worm action down here. Uh, Space and Guild needs to needs to hurry up. They need to hurry up. Wow, man, it's crazy how much we get. We can actually just go take the special region now. That's super quick. Somebody just scouted me here. That's wild. Um, what do we need? Manpower, knowledge. Knowledge is always useful. Shai Hulu Temple. Although, yeah, the Shai Hulu Temple is going to hit this region too, if it's here. So I think I think it's worth getting another one. Oh my god, did we actually lose this? Wait, hold on. What am I watching here? Okay, no, we're fine. It's just under siege, but it should be okay. The Iron Bladder comes for blood, it's true. We're, uh, we're going to try and win with the Fremen, which is going to be a little bit of a different adventure, I'm sure. Plus two influence per allied siege, uh, which is pretty decent, but let's go ahead and get the barracks here. And head on down here. This is a nice region. Oh man, it has five in it though. Might have to be careful here. Uh, let's do a gear sabotage. All right, let's get into melee with those guys. Got to shut them down. All right, should be able to win that fight. Don't think it should be too problematic. And uh, yeah, cool. Everything's going smooth, guys. Fremen definitely feel smooth in the beginning. Okay, karate chopping, taking over the special region. Do we want to keep expanding that way? I think this could be like a little border province for us. Although, ooh, see, uh, this is actually a nice because the uh, the smugglers set up a, a territory here that we can potentially take and or liberate to get a bunch of money. I'll lower the game speed. It might be a little bit fast for some of the folks who are newer. So now you'll hear the actual like game sounds and stuff. Hmm, hegemony building. It does have a bit of upkeep to it. How are we doing on hegemony? Yeah, we're pretty much tied. Everyone else is like right next to us, so nothing significant. Knowledge, manpower. Let's get knowledge. You guys ready for the worm? Oh uh, yeah, Fremen, I don't know if they get attacked if they don't pay the spice tax. I'm not sure. This is how the worms roll though. Cue the limp biscuit music. This is like the funniest shit ever, dude. So you you lay down a thumper, the worm appears and just like shuttles your guys over. So this is a really strong tactic with Fremen that in order to keep up with the other factions, you kind of have to do in the early game. The worm is coming, and we're going to be trying to liberate. No, this is our pathetic votes. Oh yeah, let the worms feast. So the Fremen have appeared in the shadows. And now we are going to attack the city, which has... He didn't build any militia here, right? So now we can liberate the city, which will give us uh, a thousand. Which will give us a thousand gold if we can liberate this. And you see, he's, he doesn't have anything like close. So this is actually very strong. Like if we get a big thousand gold boost right now, dude, I'm going to be cackling. So we got the spice hegemony. We have all the spice tech. So now we're going to make a ton of money from spice uh, once we gear out our harvesters. So I'm fully equipping all of our harvesters now with crews. And yeah, like the amount of spice we're going to get is going to be nuts. Yes, good. Good. And this is the spreading the faith technology. All right, let's get a spice harvester here. Demolition militia. So only Fremen can like sneak across territories like that. It's very strong. Barracks is coming up. We got a missile turret here. We're developed, we're developed here, more or less. Let's just do this and get another, I don't know, you just get. Do we want the hegemony buildings? I guess it is a decent way to win with Fremen. Hegemony and like map control, but the upkeep is so expensive. Like, I think I'm just going to spam knowledge for now. Yes. yes. Liberate the city. About to get more spice over here, too. We're going to have four, four spice fields, which is crazy. The exchange rate isn't, like, super good right now. But once we get the um, lay of the land and stuff, we'll go to the... Uh, we'll go to the, uh, the exchange rate tech. All right. Perfect. 
What do we have here? Lose a thousand Solari. Ooh, that sucks. I don't want that. No, thank you. Fremen aren't like made of money like other factions. They're definitely usually the poorest until late game. So see, we just got a thousand Gs for that, which is crazy good, right? So now we can get even more crazy. Let's let's keep spreading the faith a little bit. Thumpers regenerate eventually. Why can I not go up here? Oh my god, this is bad. Well, let's go raid. We'll just raid our way back to our main settlement. But big, big money coming down here. Big, big money. And spice fields are up. We have the spice harvester in the adjacent region, so we don't need to build another one here. Plascrete. And we have to keep raiding, otherwise we're going to die and run out of supplies. So, Arrakis is my home. Do we infiltrate the lands, Rad? The inf influence is moderately useful. So we'll take this down. And we will chill here, because we can let our supplies replenish while we just siege that city. So I think that's pretty good. Do we have a maintenance center here? We do now. So that'll uh, cheapen the cost of everything, like in the adjacent regions. Very good. Uh, we could actually take control of that, interestingly enough. I don't think it's worth, though. Let's go just take this. There's a special region down here. What does this one do? Unit health per day. Ooh, acid lakes? Ouch. Oh, no, thank you. I'm good. This region would be good to take because it is um, it is a spice field. Uh, where do we want to raid next? I guess we'll raid this. This is not a super great region. But Fremen, you have to constantly be expanding. If you're not, then you're, you're playing them wrong. We have all the statecraft buildings. So we just need Plascrete, and then we can get those. Okay, great. Oh, man, hopefully we can get here. This is not turn-based. No, it's real-time. Influence per siege, authority and hegemony gains. Yes, please. The Fremen don't get Landsrad standing, so obviously, but you do get influence, which is kind of useful later on for Fremen. Because eventually, I think the Fremen unlock uh, more. You can like do more with the Landsrad. Okay, let's karate chop these guys. Do we take over this region? Screw it. Let's do it. I mean, we're here. Let's take control of that bad boy. See what happens. Class Greed is going. We definitely need to get... Yeah, this is going to give us hegemony and then... 100 max influence. Yeah. We want to get the spice text. It might have been better to get the, the harvester works. What do we need? Economic lobbying? Okay. And Dune Wanderers. All right. So, Plascrete, Militia. Our little army has survived. Dune Wanderers. So next up, we want to get economic lobbying for sure. We have enough to take this region? Almost. Shit, we could just like take that too. Why not? The Fremen Empire grows in power. We need to assign a cruise to that. So we can choose to sell more. We're going to sell more spice now. So you can see our income like jumped up pretty hardcore. Hopefully our militia can win this. Jeez. Okay, we do have the ranged militia there, but we never rebuilt. Yeah, building the missile turret there was a good idea. It definitely was. So you don't start replenishing uh, thumpers until you get 5k hegemony, I think. Yeah, we generate them passively. So that's like you can't fly around as much. Yeah, the sieges we've been a little bit tame on because I don't have like great water. So um, as a matter of fact, ooh, we need to get water in this region. So we'll cut this knowledge building. Get water. I need water. People are thirsty. I'm kind of kind of sparse on that. And then we can go here. Get water in this region. And we only have like a little bit of wind here, so it's probably not even worth. Let's get the manpower. And go take the space. Yeah, we have the deep desert, which kind of protects us here. Um, this siege here. Water for spice. We're so low on water. We will start mass trading with the sieges soon, though. That one we're almost friends with. Because each siege gives you like quite a bit of uh, a benefits. Okay, let's get into melee with these guys. Perfect. So that should handle that. Let's get our skirmisher back. The lands rat is here. Um, yeah, let's give let's give our give ourselves some lands rat standing now. We can do the military developments for sure. Seems pretty good to me. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Lost the unit. Oh well. So liberating that territory was nice, but we need to do that much more. 
The economic lobbying will give us a better exchange rate, which will be very, very strong. Let's run. Get you onto the shooting unit. Then have you jump back onto this. Very good. We have another agent. We're fully infiltrated. And yes, this little village that keeps getting hammered on the frontier needs another militia. That is for certain. So you can see how the Fremen make decent money. It's not like quite as easy as the other factions, but you can. Uh, this gives us influence per allied siege. Yeah, let's do that. Very good. So now that we have a shit ton of water, we're going to start trading and start trading. So what does this one give us? 40% resource production in that region. Man, that's not very good. Still not bad. Still not bad. All right, Plascrete. All you guys. Oh, they're trying to take this region again. That's very bold. So once we finish economic lobbying, um, we'll probably go for military after that and just go like straight to the Fidakins and just like, then we're gonna start getting aggressive. Getting real crazy up in this game. Water in this region is actually, yeah, it's acceptable. It's definitely acceptable. Shai Hulu Temple, we'll build that down here. Maintenance center. What else can we build here? We already have the spice harvesters nearby. Manpower is capped out, but that's going to change once we recruit more military. Uh, our intel is also all right. Like, really? We'll just get another manpower building because we are. once we get a big army, it's, it's going to tank our manpower pretty hard. So, Spice fields are just going full bore. With a lot of authority. That region's going to finish. We just need to get the economic lobbying going. Yeah, the skirmishers and infiltrators do die very quickly. They do. Oh shit, the Atreides are here. Okay, this is a good opportunity because we can like kind of backstab the, uh, the smugglers and just start liberating their territories for money. Which is great. You know, the people love it. We have spy silos. Uh, let's go ahead and get the intel building here. It's moderately useful. Fremen do like to do actions, mainly supply drops and stuff. Yeah, this will give us a big 5% to the exchange rate per assigned agent. So if we have two agents in Chome, it gives us 10% extra on this. Uh, this exchange rate, which isn't actually that great right now. Taryn, you want to build your bizarre building you're doing now in the slot one? Oh, oh, got it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that worked. I've never used it before, so. It's already, uh, counts as... Hmm. Wouldn't it count for... Wouldn't it count for all three, though? Let's actually see how this works. I've never done it, so we're going to explore together. Okay, so... We could have a border skirmish down here for sure. We got six wind here. Nice, nice. Very good. Let's get a missile turret. Now we're we're generating thumpers. You can see it's starting to happen. Call to arms. Let's do it. Get the barracks building. Time to get a little bit crazy. Yeah, the buildings in the sieges are good. Uh, we have another siege here. Let's go ahead and ally with him. Or start developing the alliance, I should say. Dude, the amount of authority you get at Fremen is just nuts. Okay, this siege is friendly now. But I think you can build the siege buildings once you get to... Yeah, 10k hegemony. Okay, so it's a ways off. It is a ways off. And what did this end up doing? Okay, it's not done yet. Okay, fine. Harkonnen are nowhere to be seen. Really just the smugglers. We just gotta, we gotta harass the smugglers a lot. Yeah, we have really good uh, intel too. So we, we, we're attacking quickly. Okay, how does this work? Is this going to give us, like, each of these? That would actually be really good. No, okay, it just gives you extra. Okay, so that probably wasn't the right way. Uh, Chome Branch. Yes, please. What does Liet and how's the military? We can build infiltrators now and mercenaries. Let's just wait to get the good units. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Dude, with Fremen, you have so many resources. It's pretty nuts. Military base here wouldn't be a terrible idea. This could this could be like a front where we fight, obviously, so. Gotta put some respect on their names. The caravans we need to unlock later. We can do a little bit of aggression now. Let's get some infiltrators, I guess. This should give us uh, some more command points, too, to work with. Okay. How are the regions? Looks like the rebels have dealt with, uh, or the militia have dealt with the rebels here, but not by much. This is very risky for the Fremen to develop a... Oh, they're building an airfield ship. I should probably get down there and attack this while they're not ready for it. 
and uh, military base. We can delete that military base later, but in just in case the fighting does go down there. Let's do a uh, crowd manipulation. Okay, they're not going to let me have it. The boy is watching this time. You can do shift uh, pathing as well, guys. Another thing to consider. Let's continue taking this region. Yeah, he actually used the gear sabotage there. Yeah, he was, he was expecting a fight. That's pretty fun. So let's take these other regions. We have a crowd manipulation coming along. Oop, let's get to the get to the. Apparently, the fancy Fremen walking isn't enough to stop those sandworms. Mercenaries cost a shitload of upkeep. They're really expensive. Let's get some skirmishers. Just do like a low tier army here for now. Yeah, I I, I get the uh, I get the bizarre building. I'll do it correctly next time. So House of Trades. Uh, let's go and decline that. So you actually have some influence to vote with now, which is nice. And we'll take the economy completion. Sure, why not? So a lot of troops coming out of the old siege. We can always worm around. So we just need to gather our armies together as one. All right, so here, it's so, that deep desert is so stressful. We got to really make sure we don't run on that. I might change the bazaar later on. So still very good on manpower. We could do more knowledge. Knowledge is always useful, I feel. I don't really know about the math behind it. Probably something I should look into. And uh, spy silos. I think we already have one in the region. Yeah, we have a spy silo that affects this region here. So we're not actually going to gain much from it. So let's just do the research. Infiltrate that. Complete. In the barracks building, I think we could do that. So when this finishes, we could do a timing attack. That's going to give us a uh, thirty percent strength on units and whatnot. Sparty was here earlier. Yeah, he. We played. Uh, we played a game with him already. So that was the first one we did. Any other sieges that we need to keep tabs on? Dude, look at the Atreides just sniping shit here. So this is the Fremen can kind of counter the Atreides like trolling a little bit. And I'll show you how. So the lands chat is coming. How many territories is he? He's got two. Okay, so this is perfect. So what we do here, we grab our thumper, and we head on down to Party Town, and we take those territories actually because they're both really good. So the Atreides use their land sniping to do this, but we're gonna mm, like liberating them is tempting, but I'm already pretty rich. Like our spice, our spice economy is nuts. Yeah, we're gonna get some big boys soon too. All right, the, ooh man, the Atreides actually have a lot here. Jeez. We could do a crowd manipulation. I don't even know if we can beat his militia here, actually. Yeah, I think we can, just barely. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose one of these infiltrators. It doesn't matter, I wanna replace him anyways. All right, so let's take control of this. And let's get a, a drone down here to see what this looks like. This is a nice region. Oh, he actually used the gear sabotage on me, nice. So he knows what he's doing. Like this region, man, this, we want all the spice region as Fremen. It's just so strong. Uh, we can go ahead and get the Chome Hegemony. What has he got here? He's got a Missile Turret, Plascrete, Maintenance Center. Eh, not, not very good region, actually. We need to develop that better. And Supply Drop. Yeah, he might be able to get some troops here. I don't know if he's got like a dropship of Doom or something. Let's get the big boys. Those are our heavy hitters. And, uh, yeah, we're making progress on taking it. Yeah, Sparty can only play for so long. He had some stuff to come up. Oh, my God, that missile turret's, like, slowly picking us apart. It's like a horror movie. Okay, here they come. Oh, uh, the Atreides are going to get here in time. I think they're going to save it. I should have destroyed the buildings. Okay, we'll disappear back into the desert. Back into the sands we go. Back into the sands we go, my friends. So let's go raid this village here. He's got a pretty decent army too. Like, I don't know if I could actually fight him. Oh, 278 on this. Yeah, let's just get back up. Are we actually going to make it? We might need to raid a village to survive, actually. No, we have a lot of supplies. I think we're fine. Hustle it up, boys. Hustle it up. So let's see how rich everyone is. The Atreides are very good. Okay, he's, he's clearly a very good player. So are the Harkonnen. Wow. Smugglers are the ones who are, uh, seem to be getting the worst end of things. Counterintelligence. 
Looking good. We're going to make it back to our region just barely. Get the elite units. So I made a mistake there. I should have destroyed his buildings that he had. We'll take the spice field from the uh, from the from these guys. I think that should be a little bit of an easier grab. All right, so they're healing up. You guys head to this base. How are the big boys doing? And what do we have here? Treaty costs. Oh, lovely. Yes, the Fremen are known for their treaties far and wide. Yeah, the Atreides player is really rich. He's, he's clearly going to be a tyrant. So hopefully the Harkon and the Atreides are going to just have like mortal combat with one another. He's rebuilding this region, but it did cost him a bit. Yeah, he must have landed over here. Hmm. Yeah, we got we to gotta stop that. Although expanding in safe territories is also a good idea for us. Okay, so let's get our big boys down here. One and one here. All right, one, one, one. It's really annoying not having an airfield, though, I gotta admit. Water regulations? No, thank you. Definitely do not want that, so we're just gonna say no to that. Our main base is pretty well developed. Let's do this. Get the intel. Get you developed. Keep going. And we can do the uh, the Temple to Shai Hulud down here. Because we're going to be, well, you know what? The Temple's actually probably better in this region. So let's cancel the Temple. And just get some sort of a production building. Manpower will become necessary eventually, I, I hope. As we start losing troops and whatnot. Why do they just stop in the middle of the desert? That's weird. Yeah, I'm definitely not short on authority. I mean, I've been trying to expand. It's You can only expand so quickly. But I'm going to try and take all these regions real quick. So we're just going to go get this one, and then we'll set up a military base there. Shaihalu Temple. Very good. We got we got the worm to ride if we need to. Yeah, the Atreides player is going to be very... That's Hadri's. He's going to be very scary. We do have a good bank, though. We do have a good bank. All right, so let's get the Desert Shadows, maybe. That's going to give us a maximum of five extra agents, which we can start building up. Take over this territory. Boom. Then we'll take over this one. Do we want to go for a Hegemony victory? No, Atreides is killing it. They're going to be so strong. He's like, dude, Hadrius is literally like building a base under the smugglers. Is that just where he spawned? It's like weird because there's like almost no one up here. Okay, let's befriend, become friends with that siege. Uh, all right, very good. Military base. Heavy militia, why not? Let's spend some of that manpower that we have. And uh, let's go ahead and get intel. Intel, intel, intel. Head over here. Capture this. Hopefully don't lose our entire army. No real threats to the north. It looks like they're pretty chill. Yeah, we're almost there. What happened to us? Water regulation? Ooh. The water regulation actually did kick into effect. So that's... So this region has the acid lakes in it, so you actually take a lot of damage per day, which is pretty funny. Alright, let's go get on the range units here. I wonder if it affects the enemies. It might. So we have crowd manipulation. Oh, shit! That's actually just where their base is. What a weird spawn. What a weird, weird spawn this is. So that's just the Atreides main base there. Oh, interesting. Okay, missile turret. Take control of this. Uh, let's move you guys up here. Just keep one of our healthier lads here to capture this. So what does this region do? This gives us research up. Okay. That's pretty nice. And this is a plastic region, so we're going to want to sauce that up if we can. Certainly not short on any of the main resources. All right, heavy militia. Let's get a knowledge hub, because this one is a... Uh, yeah, knowledge hubs, research hubs. Yeah, great. They work a little bit better there, basically, is how that goes. So the stealth gear is on the way. It generates a fifth player. Maybe So yeah, maybe the map is going to be kind of designed for that, right? Which is kind of a cool thing. Our authority is finally tamed a little bit. We've, we've been able to spend it to an extent. Plaskreet. You've done well. Let's keep going up here. I feel so naked without nukes. Like, every game just having one just makes you feel so safe and cozy. Ooh, hopefully our militia wins this, actually. Is this one of our militia here? No, it's a raider. 
our ranged militia is actually losing. Okay, we're gonna have to go uh, deal with that. So, let's get you guys up here. And if we want to worm, how far can we actually worm? Yeah, it is what it is. These guys can stay down here, actually. But we, we gotta start upgrading to better uh, quality militia. Water in this region is quite good. I guess they can drink the acidic water. The worm squad is going to deal with that. We just need to get heavy militia in our towns. Yeah, let's delete this, delete this, delete this. Get some heavies. Heavies like never lose to raiders, ever. Yeah, there is a fifth faction on the way, House Karina. Yeah, correct. So Desert Shadows will give us the goods. That's gonna give us five extra agents, which we really do need. Like we might have to resort to assassination against some of the stronger factions. We do not know yet. Okay, so water in this region is pretty subpar. Uh, do we have a Shaihulu temple? We do not have one. We don't build that here. I think, uh, no, we can build it down there. That's probably smarter. Then here we can just go for the intel. We, get a, we actually have a fair amount of influence. All active charters are revoked. Yeah, let's do that. So that'll take away the judge of the council from the Atreides. Heavy militia. Go back to the main city. I bought the Dune novel. It arrived yesterday. Yeah, I, I just got the books as well. I've been reading them on the beach when I go with my wife, which maybe we'll go do that today. It sounds like a nice... We live really close to the ocean, so we can cruise over pretty quickly. And the elected faction gets Solaria upkeep. It's kind of nice as Fremen being able to vote. I actually like this playstyle. So where do we want to expand? There's more sieges up here. Thumpers are on the way back. I, don't, I guess, yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of value up here. Our hegemony is 7.9, so we're good on hegemony. We, what we could do now is build those hegemony buildings as an alternate victory condition. So we need to find the special regions like this. Um, this gives us water. Yeah, there's honestly, all these buildings are really, really useful. Um, but we can cut the spice silos and build it. And then we can get these spice silos in this region. So we can cut Plascrete here. A little bit of base management. Get the hegemony building, because that'll give us five per day towards victory. So it does add up. And then spice silos here. Because that'll hit, yeah, all those, which is great. All right, so let's get the military waddling down here. And I think we have another rare elements region, so let's get the hegemony building there as well. We can cut the knowledge. We already have really good knowledge, so we can we can cut this down. And let's get the, uh, the craft workshop. It, they do have a big upkeep, but look how rich we are. I'm actually richer than I was last game. Uh, the hegemony, yeah, at 10K we can build in the main bases. Smugglers are definitely in the danger. Atreides are expanding very well. Hadrius is doing a really good job. Yeah, I think this is my whole army. Let's go down here. Lib we could liberate this from the smugglers. I mean, they don't have a, like a... Uh, we have a ceasefire. We could buy chome shares too. That's that's another way we can try and win. Ceasefire is moderately useful. Let's do that. Like if we're about to get steamrolled by the Atreides, we could just like pop that and buy, us, buy ourselves some time. Yeah, this one does take a long time to do though. All right. It's good, good. Oh, hello. What's going on here? I see a bunch of smugglers. Uh, we have a missile turret here, so we should be okay. And we also have heavy militia. Build the Shaihulu temple. Wait, no, we were going to build that on the low ground, weren't we? Yes. Shaihulu temple. So I just saw a bunch of shit land here. I'm pretty well defended. Um, we have heavies here. We need to go ahead and upgrade these militia. Oh man, I'm leaving my guys in the desert. This is pretty haggard. Let's get heavies. Yeah, smugglers are definitely getting cornered a little bit. I just saw them land a bunch of troops here, so I'm just going to chill. We could go take this region, but it does border us with the Atreides, which is very stressful. But regardless, we'll do it. We can ride our worm or, you know, use a ceasefire. If we see them come into our lands, we could use a ceasefire. So that works very well, too. All right, so the council is coming. Yeah, it works. So it revoked the Atreides' uh, council position. Oh, looks like they went that way. Okay, with their snipers. Hustle in here. Are we looking down here? Looking good. Yeah, honestly, I'm richer than I was last game. At 10k, you can, yeah, you can build things in the sieges, which is what we're going to do. Uh, this one is not our friend yet, so let's trade. Let's trade. 
and uh, great. We should be like the strongest. We could just go for a hegemony victory. It's for sure an option. Let's get a missile turret. Unfortunately, Fremen can only ever have one missile turret, so it's not like quite as resilient as other factions. Atreides are kind of sandwiched, actually. So I think if I just play defensively and like play the hegemony and the other, uh... ooh, they're kind of how good is? Oh, they have free company. Free company are pretty good quality units, actually. So. Should probably put some respect on their names there. Get some uh, knowledge. Man, I'm actually... I feel like the Fremen are pretty strong in some ways. Not having a nuke, though, is a huge, huge weakness. Do we really need Plascrete for anything anymore? Probably just Intel spam is the way, so I can at least do constant crowd manipulations. Um, Harkonnen are chilling. I feel like the smugglers are going to have the have a problem. Let's see how everyone's doing financially. Okay, pretty rich, pretty rich, and, well, I guess the smugglers are the poorest at the moment. Being, being in the, the dreaded sandwich is never fun, I'm sure. Okay. Landsrad council vote. Let's deny this. With not everything, but we'll do, like, a fair amount. And we don't care about Landsrad standing. All right. So, yeah, we're just hanging out. All is safe. Give me some Warhammer. So streaming Warhammer right now isn't like super great because we're not allowed to show live game gameplay. It's really actually quite annoying. We can only sh the we're not allowed to show the menus. So like that's why I haven't been streaming Warhammer. I've just mainly been doing videos. Um, but like I can assure you, when Immortal Empires comes out, guys, we're going to be going balls deep in that uh, maintenance center. Yes, that place didn't look like it did. All right. So when Desert Shadows finishes, we just sauce out our military. Five intel per siege, fifty percent agent per allied siege. Yeah, we're going to be maxed out on agents by the time that matters, though. We just need to get the high command after this. Oh shit! I didn't know Fremen could get two missile batteries. Oh, I didn't think they could. Yeah, looks like they're not that strong here, but our army is like kind of lower tier. We do have a couple of the Fidakin guys, but that's more or less it. The Atreides could invade at any time. So getting some missile turrets to back up our borders is gonna gonna help. But look at our, our spice stockpile right now, guys. We have 5,000 spice, absolute lunacy. And Fremen, you don't have to worry about your harvesters being eaten, so they, they Fremen are the best of the spice game. Oh my god, the exchange rate is 3.4. Oh man, we could be so rich. 500 gold, yeah, that's, that's insane. That's insane. Uh, all right, so we lose Solari, gain some hegemony, sure. Yeah, we're taking off in hegemony. Uh, one thing we have to worry about is being assassinated, so probably counterintelligence is going to be really good. If we see someone trying to... Ooh, okay, Atreides are over here battling the Harkonnen. So what I would like to do is get them off my borders, if possible. Uh, and yet, I believe he has an airfield here. He does. So let's wait for some military tech before we try anything. Like, my army's just not that strong. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Let's get a skirmisher. Let's go look for events around the map. See if there's anything we can scavenge. Yeah, here we go. How many allied teaches do we have? Do we have to assign agents to them, or do we just get that? Can't remember. Okay, it's on its way. Love the content, man. Can't wait to watch you corrupt the world when chaos drops. Yeah. I'm super excited. The Festus trailer today was pretty fun. Not as good as the Slanesh one, though. I think the Slanesh trailer is quite a bit better. Uh-huh. Let's get knowledge. So we're at 28 knowledge. Everything's looking developed. I think we have Pensa provinces everywhere. One, two, three, four. And yeah, we're like capped on authority again, which is pretty trolly. Maybe we go up here and just start doing this. Yeah, screw it. Let's just, let's just grab more territory. We don't, we don't need to sit here being idle. So we'll do here and here. Hopefully nobody invades us, but we do have heavy militia, so it wouldn't be like an easy invasion. We'll also get the defense systems for extra militia slot. And then border defense. Why is he stockpiling spice? Uh, I'm not. I'm selling it. Like, I just have so much spice generation that it looks that way. All right. Looking around. Let's trade with you. So I have to actually like click ally on the siege? Oh. 
So I, have to, I do have to click that, yeah. And form alliance, and form alliance. And what other sieges are we friends with? Okay, so we formed alliances with a bunch of sieges. Now you can see our hegemony is like 10k, it's pretty nuts. And let's use the worm. Go conquer some territories. Boom, there we go. Oh, we're, good thing we built those heavy militia, man. So defense systems are up. So now we can go to our southern border. Get an extra militia slot and extra missile slots too. And this one, um, intel is probably slightly less important than knowledge right now. Delete this and make a second missile turret. And get another militia slot. Very good. Got to make all these territories like super, super annoying to attack. And we can just start expanding a little bit in the north. Outstanding. Uh, something happened to us gear. Oh, somebody kept put gear regulations on us. Oh, man, the infiltrators die so quick. It's like you look and they're just dead. Stiff breeze takes them down. Okay. You can't stockpile. Yeah, I mean, you can hoard spice. And then the, the, the tactic is to potentially hoard spice. And then when the exchange rate is better, you just like sell it. But like, it really doesn't matter that much when the exchange rate is already so good. Oh my God, look at this. We're being raided here. How do they get through the heavy militia, by the way? That's what I'm wondering about. We'll keep the skirmisher here. Take our troops. We're going to take a little worm adventure back to our base. Make sure we don't lose the spice field. That would be very unfortunate. All right, so very secured over here. Very, very secured. The siege is our friend. This region is ours now. So what do you want to build here? Heavy militia. And uh, yeah, this character can just hang out here for now. Looks like the dudes have made it back. We just need to get military tech now to get like a fat military. That's what needs to go down. A little bit vulnerable back here, but they'd have to go through these two territories, yeah. So that siege is not yet our ally. This one is our ally. Form an alliance with that siege. Form an alliance with that siege, which we now have. Cool. And I think we're all set. Yeah, let's just go chill at the main base right now. Kind of feel it out. Yeah, the worm the worm has been rode around quite a bit. Form an alliance. And now we can do the siege buildings, I think. Yeah, so let's see what they do. Trade resources gains with this siege for you and your allies. So what are we even trading here? Solari. Spice production in ally regions. Plastery production plus 80. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, plus two max thumpers. Oh, wow. That's really good. Let's get that. Because, yeah, that's one of the biggest weaknesses of Fremen is, like, the fact that you don't have airfields. So being able to get more thumpers is going to be very strong. Uh, what other ones do we want to build in? I think this one is our friend. Yes. Let's become an ally. Let's see what we got here in the middle. 100% hegemony from water production. Uh, okay. So two knowledge per neutral village in the region and its neighbors. 10 intel per neutral village. Okay, that's not very good. Military, 10% uh, military, 10% military units power. Oh, wow. See, that can stack. Oh, okay. So if we spam those, we could just get like crazy military power, huh? That seems pretty good. Okay, let's leave this unit. It's kind of just like, it's not worth using a full thumper to get away with that. We have another agent. Let's go on counterintelligence to make sure we don't get ambushed. Yeah, I think we're... I'm like, I'm literally trying to sell everything. Like we're selling now. See, I could hoard it, but like I'm selling it. Yeah, I'm making 1,200. That's the most I've ever made in this game. Actually, that's the most I've ever made. Because usually I just use energy markets economy, but like, oh my God, if the Fremen had nukes on top of this, that would just be gross. Resolve. Uh, this region's actually pretty nice too. Maybe we go grab that real quick. Okay, we could delete this unit that I just like left in the sand down there, which is pretty funny. And let's get some of those guys. Great. Wow. So the master knife maker can only get one. Is that true? But what about in other sieges? Like here? Oh, you can only get one. Limited to one globally. Okay. So do we have any sieges that are actually like near spice? Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. We should have been trading with that one a long time ago. 
Yeah, we're literally just selling now. We should stockpile a little bit. Turn, I assume that you've already answered this many times, uh, but thoughts on the Festus video? I thought it was fun. Not as good as the other trailer, um, but it was still fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, Festus is a meme, so he's, he's just like, he's just a giant, giant sausage man. This one just gives you Plask Creek production, which is kind of cool. It does cost some authority to do. Intel. Oh, this is actually good. Intel per adjacent neutral village. Yeah, that's nice up there. Because there's like no one up there. So that's going to be actually very strong. Why are so units so tiny? Well, I mean, you can zoom in. But it's 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 like an overhead game. Uh, build new buildings. Yes, confirm. We just have a casual, you know, 50,000 gold. So, I mean... Once we develop our military to actually get some work done, will be pretty scary. Special region up here, let's go take it. All right, people, hustle it up. Let's get the drones flying over our army to make sure we don't get owned. We have the knife maker here. We never rebuilt the militia in this town. That could have been actually really bad. Yeah, chome shares is, is for sure an option for us, but I'm not gonna like start doing it until we get close because I don't want like you don't want to sound alarm bells and everything, right? Plus, I'm a little bit too far off. But yeah, with that kind of income, for sure, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll in it. Yeah the the fact that the smugglers like who were kind of the threat to us are like being circle beaten a little bit is good. <coughs> Sacred of that region. Curses, I'm too weak. All right, heavy militia. Dude, we have so many agents too, it's nuts. Um, let's do the chome. The amount of spice we have is crazy, crazy. Let's look how rich everyone. Leto's got seven, he's got 3.4, Harkonnen's got 1.7. Yeah, so they, it's not like nuke territory. Yeah, it's not like nuke territory. Uh, yeah, Lich, no, for sure, Festus is gonna be fun. I, I like, he's gonna be a cool character to play. What does this region give us? Uh, special region for, ah, oh, just like supplies. Okay, nothing, nothing crazy good then. What do we even build here? I guess like knowledge is always useful, but uh, Desert Command gives us command points. Ooh, what is that? Twenty percent unit power per spice collector in the same region. Oh, so if you're fighting in a region with spice collectors, your army is super jacked. Makes sense. Fremen would fight uh, tooth and nail for that. I would wager. Get some water here. Get some heavy militia. We have more spice fields up here. We can just head up and take this over. How's it going down here? Looks pretty calm. And three slot with the economy. 50% research was in trading with the siege. In Solari production. Is there any other buildings we can build? Armor and Solari, proactive treaty. Let's build the fortifications here just to be safe. That makes our main base like really, really tanky. All right, so that should be finishing in a moment. Yes, yeah, so we have the master knife makers. Anything else around here? Uh, looking okay. We got a lot of what we want. Our, our intel is also capped out. Um, do we want to do this? Like, I don't want my agents to get captured, is the thing. Like, assassination is, I guess, an option. And let's do knowledge. No big skirmishes on the borders. Oh, hello. So look at this. We actually have a, a raid. They're taking over one of my regions. So I'm going to have to go deal with that. And what we're going to do is do a, a crowd manipulation in the smugglers' southern territories. So we're going to do it down there. And now we can get here and we can ride the worm. I don't think we'll get there in time to like fight them off, but you never know. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get on the worm express. And can we actually get there in time? Can we beat that army is the question. Let's see. We're going to try. If we lose, it's not a huge deal. We have enough to rebuild, so we'll build some troops here. All right, so what do we want to do? Supply drop, gear sabotage. Gear sabotage is probably what we would do. He probably has a military base here. Yeah, he does. So his army is going to be pretty strong. And supply drop, gear sabotage. Let's get in there and fight. I don't know if we win this, honestly. I really don't. I think we... Fremen fighters are pretty good, and we do have all the techs. Yeah, okay, we're crumping him. Never mind. Fidakins are just so crazy strong. Just beating down the Haggard Smuggler infantry. Man, we got there just in time. Yeah, it's PvP. 
He like I just got attacked by another player. And then we did the crowd manipulation so that we caused a rebellion in the back of the base there, which is very good. Let's get another one of those. And just start. Start we'll start on that. We'll start plugging away at this. Like that's gonna hurt his spice and you know, be very annoying. Oh, we have a military base here too. Okay. That explains things. Oh my god, that was that was like a bully beatdown right there. The Fremen military, no joke. Okay, so crowd manipulation is active. We have the chome shares just kind of sitting there and we'll, we'll progressively do that. We also have the enhanced fortifications. What tech are we researching right now? So support structures, we can get the, ca the caravan now. And desert command. Yeah, getting that early knowledge is very strong too. The spice is just brutal though, the spice trade. Yeah, we're gonna take the middle here. And we'll do another crowd manipulation on him. We're just going to do it all over all of his territories. So we're just going to do crowd manipulations and then we can do another one. So he's going to, you don't get any resources. So we just caused two rebellions in his lands. It's pretty cool. Fremen, Fremen can definitely do that. And now we're going to move in and just take this. He's got some militia here, but like if he comes to fight me, then he's losing resources in his main base. See, he went back there to go deal with that. So now we take the middle like happily, which is a great region. It's a hegemony region. So, all right, let's do that. Screw it. It only costs it only costs 50 to do that. We don't have enough authority at the moment, nor do we have the water. So we need to get some water up here. All right, very good. Keep developing this region. Let's get the uh, intel. Yeah, the Fremen army is, is pretty good. I mean, obviously what can own us is just like getting nuked. Like getting nuked is just the ultimate karate chop to us. Hmm. Five water. Dude, our water is so bad. It's because we're trading with all the sieges is the problem. Okay, nobody's mission complication. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, we don't really care about lands are outstanding. So let's do that, and that, that'll just finish that. Once the water finishes up here, how much do we have here? Ooh, water is pretty good in this region. Seems like water is a big one for Fremen, which is very lore-friendly. So much intel. Yeah, I have a ton of intel from my uh, sieges, which is crazy. So we could do another. So he just dealt with this. We're going to just crowd manipulate it again. Oh my god. This is even more. I think this might even be more troll than New King. Just constant rebellions all over his lands is just like absolutely unholy. All right. So let's get the chum shares. Speaking of water, stand up and have a stretch. Yes. Dude, the, the Fremen economy might be the strongest in the late game. Let's get more intel. We get you. We don't really care for the knowledge. How are we doing on manpower? We're pretty good, but you know, you can never have enough of that. Missile turret. Screw it. Just in case raiders come, it'll help fund them off. We could expand to get another spice field, but really I feel like that'd be overkill. Mm, agent with the ghost trade. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's create another rebellion in his lands. Where do we want to go? We'll just do the spice field again. Yeah, see, he's being raided. He's losing a town there. We'll do another rebellion back here. The siege's ability to generate uh, intel is really cool. What do we want to build here? Uh, this gives us more trade. Yeah, so let's do the one to get more money from that siege. So we can't get the water extractor, which does suck. But I think this region, yeah, has terrible water. Yeah, if Premid can't build that building, it's really a shame. Uh, Intel. Heavy militia. This is a hegemony region. Pop that. Keep on the chum chairs. Yeah, so we're just kind of like progressively getting chum chairs. It's, it's on its way. We only have 82. This is like the first time in the game we've uh, we've not been like just pouring over it. I, I do want to get that other spice field, but it's a little bit risky to uh, leave this area. Per adjacent neutral village. Spice production in ally villages in the region. So would it hit that? No, it wouldn't. And this gives us 80 plastic production, which we don't really need. The siege will raid, but it won't raid us. 100% hegemony per water production. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do that. That's fine. Do we get a second missile turret in the middle? Maybe a good idea. 
I really don't like the Atreides down here, but I'm kind of like... Like, I don't think they're elected to any... Oh, you know what? Hadrius actually does have the governorship. Ooh. We might need to do a little something something here. Maybe a little razzle-dazzle, as they say. All right. Resource deficit. What do we have a deficit of? Oh, command points. Okay, I just have too much stuff. Um, how much are these guys? These guys are four. I don't know how we got a deficit. That's weird. I guess we had something going and it just it just ended for some reason. Maintenance center. Uh, actually, that's not the best spot for the maintenance center. Maintenance center should be on the one uh, just north of it. And uh, let's get a maintenance center here. Shaihalu Temple and a maintenance center. Yeah, very good. There you go. Let's just go ahead and get some influence buildings now. Yeah, he's up for governor, which is very scary. So Hadrius could potentially win. Uh, guys, we need to vote down governorship. Thankfully, I have max influence. So Hadrius is up to be the governor of Dune. So we need to decline this with everything. So if they don't do that, we could actually be in some danger. Like, 100%. If Hadrius gets elected governor here, dude, we're, we're in big trouble. As a matter of fact, I should probably start attacking him. Cause yeah, that's that's a that's a big threat there. I I put five hundred shares into that. Crowd manipulation. I can't ride my worm if I'm here, so I'm I'm going this way. Hmm. Actually, I don't like this at all. Let's go down here, here, and here. Man, we gotta vote him down. If he if he gets governor, we probably lose. Because I don't know how coordinated everyone would be. Who was captured? Oh, I'm captured by House Atreides. I love it. All right, so let's move this way. How are we doing up top? Do we get the development? We need the center of doom. And you can go ahead and get this. Get onto the sand, my people. Get ready to go. Now it is time for the Fremen, the Fremen raids. Even though the Atreides army will kick our butt, we gotta, we gotta still try. All right, so let's, dude, like, look how scary their base is. So let's do a crowd manipulation. Oh, there's been nukes between these two. So we're gonna do a crowd manipulation in the south, and then just like worm, worm our way in here. All right, so pop in that. Uh, okay, it failed. Good, it failed. Oh shit, we lost a region over here. Wow, that's annoying. Well, anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna raid a little bit. We're just gonna try and liberate this and then peace out. It's not like an all-out raid, but yeah, yeah, our troops did pretty good. We got a supply drop here, so let's pop that, and we can go ahead and oh my god, the UI is so annoying. It's like covering it. So we're gonna liberate this village. Yeah, how the hell did we lose that? Huh? There is an event where you can remove every single council position, but the Atreides have a special trait where, um, where they, uh, what's it called? They, they don't care about the prerequisites. I have two agents captured right now, geez. You know, I feel like that's actually a mistake. Like, yeah, you know what? Screw the infiltration cells. It doesn't seem worth. It doesn't seem worth it at all. So we'll go back and recapture that. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't paying attention. There's a lot going on in this game, obviously, so. Ah, we have the, let's do a ceasefire here. So we just did a ceasefire, which will buy me time. So the smugglers are trying to take the middle back, but I just did a haggard ceasefire, which is so funny. Uh, let's see if we can prepare another one. And crowd manipulation too. So they, they literally can't attack me and it lets my guys just go heal, which is so funny. And uh, influence, my agents are escaping. We're just gonna liberate this and then peace out. We're just taking the goods. Look, look, they're just, they're just like, oh my god, look, look, you ready, guys? Another ceasefire is coming. Oh my god, there's nukes going down. It would be a shame if somebody ceasefired this region again. LOL. Look at that. How funny is that? Okay, where's my army at? The, the worm riders, riders on the worm. They've, they've had enough. Let's actually just go troll this. Oh man, get inside. Oh, we have a couple were left behind. They're just gonna have to run. 
Yeah, ceasefire is a really good defensive one. I mean, it cost me all my intel, but it was uh, it was worth for sure. So now we're like jumping on this village here. We're gonna we're gonna raid the hell out of this, and let's get some big boys to go um, recapture that lost village. So we're just like attacking the buildings in the town while uh, while the raiders do their thing. We can find them here. So we took one of those buildings. Yeah, Hadrius is potentially up for governor again. Let's see. No, I have the council. Okay, so governorship isn't on the table right now. That's that's good. Oh, can we can we do this? Take the city? Oh, it's because the bot had it. Do you want to take control of this? It's actually a spice field. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's take control of that shit. Nice, nice. The Fremen have some very convincing arguments. It's true. They're just like, you know, if you didn't attack me, be a lot better. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to, without, the smugglers are the ones who assassinate really well. Some of the other factions, it's much trickier. All right, so let's get you guys, go get this village back. We'll set up here. We're taking another spice field, which we can heavily fortify. And we're getting there. We're getting there. Dude, the Harkonnen and the Atreides are just having like a world war here. I, I'm just hearing like just, just massive nukes. A ceasefire just went down. Yeah, but ceasefire doesn't prevent you from capping. You have to you have to have the control over the initial territory, so should be able to get that for ourselves. Um, hegemony, yeah, we're pretty high up there in the old hegemony game. Mmm. <laughs> what do we want to get? Let's get another ceasefire. Uh, Chome chairs is coming along. Oh my god. Guys, look! It's just anarchy down there, man! This is great! Look how rich we are! God damn, our in this is nuts! How much income you can get from the Fremen Spice. Okay, so we'll recapture that soon. Lands rad, uh... No, we can, we can downvote that. Dude, we have so much influence, too, because of the tech we build. The Fremen, I'm literally more politically influential than the, uh... Than the Great Houses. Nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. What do we have here? Desert Command will give us uh, eight more command points. All right, so let's get you. We don't really care for the Plascrete building. So we'll delete that shit. We stand at the ready. Uh, take this territory back over. Oh, that's right. In, uh, regions with sieges, we get an extra building in them. Isn't that cool? Is there any spice up here? I don't think so. So, I mean, whatever. Manpower is like m marginally useful consistently. Uh, counterintelligence. Yes. So the spice tax has been paid. Let's head back to the middle. Get some heavy militia here. We're getting, getting another spice field. Dude, I, you know, I have to admit, I came into this game expecting that I would be the one getting nuked over and over, just for the, the karmic vengeance from previous games, but... It really just is not the case, although the Atreides are on their way. Hmm. They're eyeing me like a piece of meat here. Let's get the chump shares. We can, we can literally just casually spend like 10,000 every couple minutes just like, yeah, we're good. All right, so what is this region? This blast crew region? I don't know if it's worth building there at this point. Are the Atreides gonna come for me? No, they're just taking over a region by the smugglers. You know what? We could go poke, get the Harkonnen off our borders, but you see, the thing is, I, I don't wanna incur the Harkonnen's wrath because like they might nuke me. And I'm feeling very cozy, so I'm like, eh, do I really need to go get nuked? Intel per allied siege. That's actually really good. Dune Wanderers. Yeah, let's do the siege network. And all relations gained with siege. Okay, that seems good. Yeah, do the siege network. I do like that. Let's get more units. Let's get a caravan and uh, some more skirmishers. And do we want a merc? We do not. So we just got to watch out and make sure we don't get nuked. As such, we should probably like keep our army split in two regions. So if he, if they do see me and nuke me, then I'm going to be okay. All right, missile turret. We got the spice train going. Oh, it's so much. It's so much spice. Uh, the Fremen would like not be the ones to win with a chome share type victory. That's for sure. <laughs> Curses. Secure, secure, secure. We recaptured this territory, so we got to redevelop that bad boy. 
Yeah, like our political influence is really good too. It's really good. Border defense is good, but I like this one because it gives me even more intel. 5% intel per allied siege. So we're going to get like 50% more intel. We're going to be up like over 100 intel per day, which is nuts. So we could just spam like all the good things like ceasefires and, you know, all the stuff you know and love. All right, let's get the troops together. We've had a couple little battles. Really, it's been pretty peaceful, though. Let's get another turret here. Uh, hmm. How's the trade he's doing? So he's got 3.4. Smugglers, yeah, they all have a couple thousand, but like 53,000 is just nuts. You can't keep getting away with it. Jump shares. Jump shares. We're creeping up, guys. Yeah, uh, is there news when they're adding the new faction? I don't think so. Huh. Like, the smugglers are kind of kind of beaten down a little bit already. But the Harkonnen and the Atreides have literally been in, like, this primordial ancient combat. And they just won't stop attacking each other. It's so funny. So I'm like, part of me doesn't want to draw their ire. Water Sellers Union. Um... I can't vote on this for myself? Okay. Oh, that's a penalty. Okay. And the Fremen gain Landsrad standing? Yeah, whatever. Well, we're just going to decline that. So let's go on a liberation mission here. Yeah, we do need some water, actually, don't we? So where are we not getting water from? This region only has two, but it's certainly better than nothing. The money is insane, yeah. No, if, so anyone who wants to play Fremen, you're getting kind of a roadmap here of like what can potentially work. Okay, show them shares. But we're gonna go say hello now to some some old friends. Sand Cloak gives us makes our entire army stealth with it, which I think is pretty rad too. So as we attack, we're gonna do a crowd manipulation in the back and start another one. Dude, the the intel with the Fremen is nuts. Hey, we spotted him. All right, so we got to fight. I don't have a gear sabotage at the mo moment, but I think our army's just so much stronger. There's just going to be a circle beating. Is he chasing my camel guy? Oh my god, that smuggler army just got melted, dude. So now it's time for the Fremen Crusade, where we just rampage through the lands. Leave a couple guys to hold this. And this is a good tactic you want to do. You typically just like, we'll take one village, then go to the next one, which is undefended. And we're doing like... This is a very lore-friendly Fremen liberation, basically. Keep some guys here, keep some guys here. And we keep moving, and we're just going to liberate like three or four territories from them. This, this is like a... Well, I don't want to spoil what's going to happen in the movie, so... Yeah, you guys will see. You guys will see. Oh, they're coming to fight back. Okay. These are heavy militia here. We'll continue our liberation. I don't know if the skirmisher will do it, so he does have a fair amount of units here. Yeah, so water is our big limiting factor. The Fidekin costs a lot of water. All right, liberate, head here, keep one unit here. Ooh, bad worm. Well, looks like uh, looks like he's gonna chase us off here, but I think we'll be able to liberate this one at the very least. Crowd manipulation, let's go ahead and manipulate the crowds here. So we're just we're just going ape here. Okay, maybe the worm's gone now. Let's go see. Okay, team. Need to fight him off. Once the big boys come out, we'll we'll party. Come on, get down there. And Fremen military, pretty good. Jump shares, gotta stay on top of that. God dude, intel, just insane. Okay, so we've liberated this city. Let's head up here. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're getting hammered pretty hard. We'll go actually capture this city. Oh, my God, 400 authority. Yeah, in late game, it becomes very hard. So we can set up our little camp here, this little Fremen camp tent thing, and it, it makes our stuff stealth, and it gives us uh, quite a bit. Are we being attacked by anyone? I don't think so. So let's go here in the sand and worm through. Yes. We're doing it. We're liberating the people of Arrakis. Okay, we better run. There's a there's a there's a storm a coming. Okay, let's get the thumper. And we can thump on over here. 
head this way. We have a supply drop. We have crowd manipulation. And we're, we're just like the smugglers are like the ones close to us. So we're just trying to pile drive them into the, into the ground here. Jump shares. All right, let's do it to it. We got reinforcements worming across. You, you can see the worm is heading through the deep sands at the moment. Do we have any supply drops? Yes, we do. Do a supply drop here. Make sure we don't die. All right, the worm has delivered the elite troops, so the big boys are here. Nice. Dude, they hit so hard. Oh, man. Might liberate the hell out of that place. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm getting hit here. Look, the Atreides have come to party. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to get back and put some respect on that. So here they come. Let's go ahead and move. And what we need to do now is get on a thumper. And we can head over here. And uh, ceasefire here. Ceasefire. And let's get another ceasefire going. And then we need to get crowd manipulations and start spamming those out too. Okay, so he's heading back. Our army's on our way. We, we, we can't afford to stay and mess with the smugglers. We have to fight the Atreides. Although I think his army's better than mine, so. Gonna have to win with like subterfuge and shenanigans and all that sort of stuff. He is taking over one city, but if we could just like reinforce these ones. Like this city isn't like that big of a deal to lose. Yeah, his army's good. I, I don't know if we could beat that. We're gonna get to our own territories and try and find out. But I think we've sufficiently crippled the smugglers. Oh, the nuke! All right, we gotta rebuild. Good thing we have 50k. Ugh. Rebuild, boys. Crowd manipulation. Fremen, fight back with your haggard schemes. Okay, there's nothing to defend here anymore. Okay, guys, we just need to go for the chome shares. We're very close. Look, Hadrius is, Hadrius is rallying them against me. He's rallying them. He's like, I'm like, I'm too weak. We just have to use our espionage to keep this at bay. Uh, how much intel are we getting? Okay, so we lost the territory here. The chome shares are coming. Water is sufficient now, don't worry. It's good. And let's get the skirmishers. Yeah, we all have a lot of money and manpower, so we can rebuild very quickly. Oh, man. Mer mercs, we can get merc mercenaries pretty quick. Yeah, we can. And we can worm on down to party town. Let's do the sand cloak. That's going to make my army invisible for, for a period of time. All right, so what we do here is a ceasefire. So that will basically delay his, his attack there so we can't attack it. You can see he's going to kind of scatter to the winds and be like, oh no, what do I do now? Um, but we have our troops now. We have some. We might have to get some merc mercenaries. Yeah, and just get like a, a rapid fire army out here. Uh, we don't have enough for another ceasefire. So where are they going? Okay. So sand cloak is active. Now let's get on the thumper. So you guys gather up on the thumper, please. Gather up. And chum shares. And let's get the thumper going here. And outstanding. Can we not reach that far? What the hell? Oh, oh okay. It's because our army wasn't there. I was like, what the hell's going on here? The thumper can be a little bit like buggy sometimes. It's very weird. All right. So as long as we're in the same region as him, he won't be able to, uh, won't be able to, you know, get me quite like that. Chum shares. We need those. So we're in the red on a lot of resources. Ooh, we have a, what, a command point deficit? Okay, no, it's not gonna affect this fight. That's good. Not everyone fit in the worm, unfortunately. All right, let's see, see how this goes. We, we need to win this fight. This is pretty big. So we have gotten into melee with a lot of his, his big boys. Oh, but his army's pretty good. Yeah, we need to shoot those, those shooty boys down if we can. If we win this fight, though, I think it's like it's like a big liberation for us. Let's move these guys back. He's trying to chase them. I think my fighty guys are a little stronger than his, but the problem is he could just nuke me again, maybe. Uh, ceasefire. Okay, where, am I being attacked anywhere else? No. Smugglers are basically crippled, so... This is a big victory. This is, this is like in the movie when the... Yeah, he's only got 900. There's no way he can sustain a war against me, I don't think. Our water being in the negative does suck pretty bad, though. Uh-huh. Enemy agent here. Let's go ahead and delete this. Whatever. 
Hmm, very close fight. I think the Fideikin are just barely going to lose it. Let's see. I'm going to make some more units. My water... Why is my water so bad? Troop inventories. Okay, it costs more to recruit units. 1,500 per. Okay, so that was that was good. We slowed, slowed the roll a little bit. Let's get the chum chairs. He's got a lot more coming here, man. We're going to have to just keep cease firing. We're going to have to keep cease firing and setting up like beachhead positions with which to defend. Okay, our water's back, but the troop inventories is actually really bad. It makes it cost way more to recruit things. So do we just political this? Like, polit yeah, we use politics here and just try and win via the, um, via this stuff. Oh man, we're very close. We're at 26,000, but we're going to keep losing territories here. Pretty rapid fire. Okay, so ceasefire needs to go. So let's let him take a little bit of damage. And then ceasefire. Yeah. Very good. The troop inventories makes it cost 200% more to recruit. So I'm just getting like dunked on by that right now. Uh, chum chairs, how are they doing? Crowd manipulation we need to do back in the Atreides lands. Let's do that. We're trying for the shares. Yeah, the shares are pretty important here. But I'm losing a lot of territory. Oh boy. Uh, you know, did he not finish these off? We still have some here. Because now, now the heavy militia are fighting. I don't want to buy any military until the next lands rad happens. Oh, this is actually really useful. Wow, I get some lands rad? Oh, sign me up. That, that potentially could be a big saving grace. Um, Atreides... I think the, uh, they stopped fighting over there. I think they did. Hmm, how are the heavy militia doing? They're holding well. They're buying us time, which is exactly what we need. Heavy militia. Let's get some turrets here. I, w I don't know if they have enough for another nuke. Okay, what are we low on? We're low on water. Dude, our water, our water situation is just abominable. Oh, somebody did a crowd manipulation on us. Okay. You know, I might have to just buy some troops. But without the water... Oh, the Harkonnen are raiding me too. Okay, so yeah, Chum Shares is our only chance. It's literally our only chance here. We just have to hope we can get enough before we get karate chopped into oblivion. I can't fight... Yeah, I can't fight with my water supply being so bad. Oh, guys, we're holding on. Just barely. Just gotta, just gotta bank money. We got the Lance Chad guard. All right, Lance Chad. Can my Lance Chad get in thumpers? I think they can, actually, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I think fighting the smugglers was maybe a mistake. Okay. Yeah, let's go free up that rebellion. I like how the Landsrad Guard can ride in there. That's so funny. Oh my god, it's lagging so much. Ceasefire. Can't yeah, see that. Uh, the Harkonnen are pushing into our lands here. They're definitely much weaker than the Atreides. Oh god. You know what? Screw the spice payment, guys. We, we got to hoard all of our money now. Like, it's it's do or die. It is do or die indeed. Okay, so the Lance Chad Guard going to try and fight there. I think they got me, though, because I don't think I can get there quick enough. Maybe I pulled the trigger a little bit too quickly. It's 10k. Yeah, I can only do it one more time. So this is, like, really tight. Uh, you know what? Whatever. The thing is, we get, we get hegemony if we pay our taxes so maybe that's faster actually we'll see after this i'll try and muster an army and defend a little bit do we have any water back we do these guys cost so much water though skirmishers all right so we got water back from that region we have a ceasefire harkonnens are taking the middle i wonder if we could beat the harkonnen army let's see if we can so let's get our dudes and just pop out and see if we can fight uh, uh, it could it could work out so lands chad come back here the sieges are costing me, but they also give me hegemony. So if I if I unfriend the sieges, then um, yeah, that's not good. Uh huh. Okay, looks fine. I don't know if anybody has nukes. Heading down here, heading to the Harkonnens in the middle. Get in there. Yeah, we'll try and force one of them off. Chum shares. I have enough for. I think I have like enough for like one more chum share here. Super super tight. We're gonna try and make the payment. 
All right, we're going for the middle. Gonna try and fight off the Harkonnen here. Come on, Lance Chad guards. You can do it. The Harkonnen army is actually pretty scary. Let's get in a melee with these guys. Wait, did he just nuke? Someone just, oh, they just saved me. Whoever just nuked there saved me. Oh man, that bought me time. All right, guys, I'm down, I'm down for that. Because it, it, it kept to this region, which is what I needed for hegemony. Um, all right, so do we have anything else here? I'm already befriended with everyone. You can ally sieges without trading with them, yeah. That's true, I can cut off the trade now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's make some dudes. See if we could fight back a little bit. That actually was a bit of a saving grace there, to be honest. But now we don't have enough money to really cackle like we were before. Mm, are we going to make this vice payment? It's three days. Let's just hoard it. They're coming, but very slowly. Uh, let's do a ceasefire. Okay, so we got some water back. Field work. Sure, why not? Let's get some skirmishers. And once we, if we're able to pay this tax, it's going to be pretty sweet. I don't know if we will, though. Adrius is coming back for this territory. He wants it. He wants it bad. So we'll pop out here. We'll do a ceasefire on the next one, and then we'll worm our way past them and, and uh, hold that territory. That's going to be the plan. Oh, man. Just give us the hegemony, dude. We're so close to it. Oh, water deficit. Lovely. Must have lost another region there. Ceasefire here. And get the worms. Let's get the thumper. Let's go down here. All right, guys, time for the sneaky tactics. Oh my god, I'm at 29.9. It's because we paid our spice tax. That gave it to us. Look, look. You guys ready for the haggard worm? Oh. Knock him off. And then we need another ceasefire stat. Oh, okay. We, we saved that territory. We saved it just barely. Flee into the desert, my minions. Flee. Yes, we did it. Woo. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, we, we even got nuked. Holy shit. That was really close. So the thing is, if I lost that region, I would have lost 500 hegemony because each of those gives 500. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That was the closest it's ever been. Oh, my God. The Fremen can do it. But you know what would have been rough is if, uh, if the Fremen... If, like, the Harkonnen and the Atreides had, like, a blood feud going for a while, which really helped me out. But the what's-it-called were great. The, the ceasefire spam at the end to slow, slow them down saved my butt. GG, it was too far to run. Oh, Hadris, your army was brutal, dude. I was like, oh. I, and plus the Harkonnen were pillaging me in the west, Hadris, so you guys were just giving me the dirty. That was a lot entertaining than the usual. Yeah, it was super fun, man. Oh my god, what a, what a scrap. <laughs> GG007, yeah. The, the Fremen economy is uh, pretty wild. It's pretty wild. We had like 60,000 gold at one point. But yeah, they started to notice the hegemony. And then they if that had happened sooner, I, I think I would have been in trouble. Well, that nuke in the middle helps. Because here's the thing. If I lose that middle region, I lose 500 hegemony, which is like life and death for me. But if... Um, the nuke Hadris, or I think it was Hadris, it really fucked me up. Like that, he nuked like my whole army and I had to like rebuild. That set me back really hard. Yeah, Hadris is really good at this game already, Jesus. He almost got elected governor, but like if him and the Harkonnen hadn't been like in a nuke war, could have been a very different, very different beast. <laughs> I heard like five or six nukes during that game. Yeah. March on my main base and spam supply drops. It would have been hard because I would have kept my hegemony territories and I could have spammed ceasefire. It might have worked though. It might have worked. We only dropped it when he was at twenty-five thousand. Yeah, that's that's how why I won that. You guys were, 
You guys were just, oh, Parappa, was that you guys fighting in the south, having that stalemate war? Oh my god, that game was super stressful at the end. That yeah, was super stressful. Hey, Ali, thank you for the thank you for the pro tips. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the Dune stream, please do drop a like. We'll uh, we'll be back with it. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be Age of Empires the next few days. Total War videos, and um, probably in like three or four days, we'll get Hadrius back in here. We'll get some of you guys. Hadrius was a beast. Yeah, he was he was terrifying. Everyone was really good that game. The smugglers got the worst position though, because he was sandwiched. Like the smugglers were like inside of the the starting area for the Atreides, kind of. Yeah, it was it was definitely wild. All right, guys, that's it. You showed farming, farming can be political. What gave you the voting power? So I built three uh, statecraft buildings in my main city, and that gives you a shitload of influence. So then you're able to vote people down. It, it's actually I think it's pretty essential because if Fremen don't have voting power, you kind of just get owned by the Atreides. Because Atreides have a better military than Fremen, like. The biggest complaints in this game are range units just overpowering melee armies. Fremen are a melee army, so you just get absolutely destroyed by the Atreides usually, and by the Harkonnen. Not always, like in late game, yes, but in early game you can beat them because your units are individually very strong, but once they get a death wall of shooting, it's like, it's very hard to win. You, you, could, you could see that at the end a little bit. Yeah, no, Brian, I hope to have you in the game next time, dude. All right, take care of yourselves. If you enjoyed it, please do drop a like. Thank you for the donations from Buck, Garland, the Whale, the Nurgling. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll be back. That's it. Adios. See you next time. Cheers.